Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back. We're tired, we're tired, we're tired. <laughs> you're tired. I'm tired too. I, I I shipped all day, but you're tired. Oh, I forgot to put my lava lamp on. Oh no. That's I forgot to put my phone on mute. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put my phone on mute too when I find it. Okay. All right, you guys, lava lamp is on. Okay, let's see who's in the house tonight. Welcome to Ten Dollar Tuesday. We're going to um, what's the matter? What are you reading? Oh, Mary has two dates so odd. The thumbnail has eleven fifteen twenty nine and twelve fifteen twenty twenty. I don't know. Did I make a mistake? <laughs> oh well, we're here. <laughs> I must have, oh my God, I must have pushed. So instead of 2 0, oh, I pushed 2 9. I did it in such a rush. And what was the other date? 12, I don't know. The other date is right. 12 15 2020. Oh, so I just, okay. So probably on the thing it says, so the thumbnail is probably wrong. You know, when I was making the thumbnail, that's okay. You know what? It's It happens. I haven't done that in a long time. Remember in the beginning, I used to make. We used to make mistakes all the time. And Joy Munkin used to text to me and she's like, Donna, you made a mistake on the thumbnail <laughs> before T sees it. She used to say to me. I remember that. Oh my God. Joy Munkin, remember? She used to like call me and she used to text me, Donna. And she really, so she funny. talks, you guys, she talks like that. She has a really sweet, kind voice. <laughs> she's so funny. Is Janine in the house? I haven't seen her all day. I see Rhonda. Um, and she's here. Oh, there's Janine. Ladies, we need help with moderating tonight. Whoever wants to raise their hand and help out. Um, Mama G's not feeling well. So she wants to take the night off. Hello, Nantique. Dave Jackson. Sandra. Hi, Connie. Hi, Rhonda. Barb Lee. Dora. Frank Perez. Hey, you guys. Connie. Hello, everybody. Pam, welcome in. I'm not reading anything. I'm just kind of going down the line. There's Janine. Hello, Janine. Evil Lenny. Hello, sweetheart. Ginger Ann. Thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate you all. KK is in the house. Hey, Kathy. I got him. Nora, Woodbine Girl, thank you so much for today, Woodbine Girl. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mary Ness, Jenny, hello, Ruth Bond. I'm sorry I didn't get to your shipping today. Tomorrow's another day here. Ken, thank you for coming in, Ken. And James Sisko, oh, faithful. Thank you, James. All right, everyone's coming in. There's Joy Munkin. <laughs> she's laughing. Donna, she's got the sweetest voice ever. Pamela, you're on the list for tomorrow, too. I got a lot of orders out today, you guys, but I still have just a few more I need to catch up on. Dave Jackson, hello. Susie Q, hello, hello. Sharice, the only orders that I have left are the ones that I have to like gather the pieces and put them together. You know what I'm talking about, T. <laughs> I do, I do. Lisa, hi, hello. Thank you for being here. And Rhonda is dropping the link. If anybody is new and in the background, please register to be able to make a purchase. Everybody has to be registered. We'll give you a blue wrench. Jill, hello, sweetheart. Donna Quigley. All right. Right down the list. If I missed someone, you guys, I'm sorry because my, my chat did jump. So if I missed you, it was not intentional. There's Jen Bennett. Hello, sweetheart. Um, I have to I have to show you what Jen Bennett sent to me. Oh gosh. Here Hold we on. go. I gotta show you. The card is the card is absolutely beautiful. 
and I'll read it only with her permission. I don't know if it's kind of personal for, for just me, but the card, I love the card. And um, so sweet. And she wrote me a big long note on it. And it's so sweet. And I, I would love to read it, but I know it's kind of personal to me. So I won't if um, if she doesn't want me to, but look at how pretty that is. Oh, nice. Isn't that so elegant? I love it. It's so classy looking. Yes, you can read it. Okay. And look at how beautiful her writing is. Oh, gosh. No, I can't. Look at how gorgeous it is, no. you guys. Isn't that beautiful? I haven't seen that kind of penmanship. No, curse of writing forever. She writes, Dear Donna, I saw this and couldn't resist getting this for you. I wish this came to you sooner, but I thought that you could enjoy it and have fun well into the new year. I want you to know how grateful I am to have found your channel. You are like family. Thank you for all that you do. XO. P.S. I know that the holidays are difficult for you. I do hope that they will be filled with lots of love and light and peace. I wanted to tell you that my son, who is 15 has worn number 11 on his baseball jersey from the beginning of Little League until now as a sophomore in his high school team. Please know that a special prayer will be said for you, Denali, every time he wears it. Love, Jen Bennett. Oh, that was nice. Isn't that beautiful? That was so beautiful, Jen. Honest to goodness. So beautiful and so thoughtful. Okay, this is what she got me, you guys. Look at this crazy girl when she got me. I have to put myself on full screen, T. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to stick you in the corner. Okay. Look at this. Do you know what this is? Oh, God. It's a fireball set. <laughs> you guys. Hi. I don't know. I think she thinks I'm an alcoholic. Oh, my God. I can't drink one of these. So I think it's like, it's like an advent calendar. And you open up like, this is like number one and inside is a fireball. Oh my gosh. I love it. Look at it. And it's got all the doors. Oh, you got to catch up now. So it's the fifth <laughs> time. <laughs> you need to catch up. <laughs> on my ass. And it says four gifts for the dragon contains 20 bottles and four gifts. I don't know. One of these doors has gifts in them. So I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to take a little couple of hits tonight of that. But, oh, my gosh, that is so cool. That's it's an so advent cool. calendar. <laughs> I thought it decked the halls with balls of fire. Where's wow. Farmer? He's going to see this, you guys. If Farmer comes in, let me know so that I can show it. Gary, isn't this crazy? It's so awesome. Honest to goodness, it made my yeah, James for sure. <laughs> it made my day. Honestly, yeah, I, I didn't break the news to Donna today, but I haven't been good since the weekend. <laughs> you haven't? No, it's, you were I right. Told you, I told you, you, right. you were right. You and my husband it. both. You and my husband said you can't start in December. Are you nuts? Don't I you told know. you you should have waited. Just wait until after the holidays. I'm done with that. Don't torture yourself. It's ridiculous. Moses is in the house. Hello, Moses. So, Jen, I have to tell you, this, this couldn't have come at a better time today when I got this. Um, I, I just, honest to goodness, I was I was like, oh, my God, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. That's just so crazy and so awesome. And cheers. Let's, let's get this party started. T, why don't you go make yourself a little martini tonight? You work so hard. You know what? You deserve a little martini. I did. I did. And I, I might. I might. I might. We have you to sell a little bit first before right. I You, do. you deserve martini. it. You deserve it. <laughs> sorry, I'm drinking. I'm sorry I'm drinking on camera, but. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so good. Woo. That's really hot going down. Oh, my gosh. So awesome. Thank you so much, Jen. I love it. Oh, my God. <coughs> so awesome. So awesome. So awesome. 
We are all drinking, trust me, James Cisco says. Yeah, <laughs> with this whole UPS mess. Yeah, that's what I say, Jill. Put it in the freezer. I can't drink any alcohol warm. It has to be cold. Oh, put it in the freezer? Really? I didn't know that. Is it really good cold? Or what, on rocks or just like... Yeah, cold? I would make it cold at least. Yeah, okay. Liquid medicine, yep. Oh my God, it's so good. Gary's in the house. I was going to invite some guests on tonight just to kind of like have some fun. Um, T and I, I don't know, T, you're, I know you're tired. Um, we'll see how, how long, um, we stay on, but, um, absolutely better cold. What are you drinking, Donna? Sandy, you missed it. I got, I got a, 20 bottles of fireball <laughs> drinking sweet tea from Dunkin' Donuts. I like just their regular tea, not their sweet tea. Okay, so this is what we're going to do tonight. So past um, past $10 Tuesdays, we've had multiples of $10 items. Um, I really didn't have multiples to bring tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start my, um, my items off at $10 um, and see where it goes. If I get one bid, then it's $10 Tuesday. And then if we get more than one, then it's not $10 Tuesday, but I wish I didn't have time to go source to get the quantity of stuff. Like, you know how I brought like the mittens, the shirts, the necklaces, like all that awesome stuff. Um, I didn't have time to get out and source not yesterday and not today because I was getting too busy getting my shipping done. I do have some things that I can do for $10. Um, I know T has a lot of things that she's going to do for $10, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So T's, hi, Kelly. T's tired. I've only been around for expensive everyday auctions on all the channels. $10 Tuesday sounds more affordable to me. Yeah, <laughs> Kyle, I'll, we definitely will have some, some affordable stuff for you tonight. Um, where the things won't go so crazy, crazy high. Um, there won't be any signed uh, sports stuff that I just showed you, though. <laughs> that stuff might start at $10, but... <laughs> All right, T, are you ready? I'm going to put you up first. You are? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right, um, you guys. I'm just seeing this some of this stuff for the first time, guys. So I don't know. Does anybody watch The Hills? It is sealed. It is the complete third season. And I had another one. I thought I had another one. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. The complete <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Sandy says I took her whole Social Security check. So are you going to do this as $10 start or $10 for the set or what? I, I don't even know if they're worth it. I, I guess we could start on a $10 That's bid. I, All right. I can know. I be starting you at 10 All right. I mean, I could add some stuff to it. I wish I had the other season. I don't see... Okay, Jill is um, reminding me to go over the $30 shipping. Oh, fee. yes, yes. Thank you, Jill. Go ahead, T. You do it. Yeah, so guys, we kind of changed our shipping policy only because, you know, of the expense of shipping and now it's gone up and it's going to stay up. And um, we really would like you guys to spend $30 before we ship your items. We don't care, you know, like if you buy $10 item this Tuesday, next Tuesday, and the following Tuesday, as long as you don't need it right away. If you do need it right away, we're going to charge you the shipping. Um, and, and I think that's fair, $30 free shipping. And if you want something shipped less than that, then you'll pay the shipping. And we're not going to make any money on the shipping. We'll just charge you for whatever the item costs to ship. And I've done that to a couple of people already because they wanted their items before the holiday. Yeah. Like, you know, they bought a $20 mirror or something like that, then you know, that's what they did. Um, so we, you know, that's, um, I guess. Uh... Yeah, me too. A couple of people have reached out to me. They just wanted to pay the shipping. So, you know, like on a t-shirt, the shipping's $3 and what it's, you know, eight ounce, nine ounces. So it's $3 and I don't know, 30 cents, 40 cents, whatever it is. So right, right. it's pretty wow. inexpensive. Um, hi, Tammy. Welcome in, honey. Pat D's. 
Welcome in. Thanks for coming in. Wow, 102 of you already. Hey guys, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, thank you so much, you guys. Don't be don't forget to go over and throw a thumbs up on the video. There's a little so, bit of lag. You if just I made. find the first season. I have another full box I forgot to bring up. I will include the first season. I promise. I'm not going to resell it anywhere. I will include the first season. I can't believe that the second and third season is here and not the first season. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, and again, they're sealed, brand new, The Hills, the second and third season. I never even heard of it. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, pretty popular. I just, um, I never watched it. I never saw it before. But Pamela says that's fair. Yeah, so I think, Pamela, you only bought one pair of pants from me uh, for $10. So, um, you know, when you get there, it, no problem. It's it's not it's there's no rush. Kathy's in at thirty. Thank you, KK. Um, and Kathy, I promise, if I find season one, it's yours with this. I have another full box. In fact, when Donna shows, I'll run downstairs in the kitchen and I'll grab it and I'll see if it's in there. Plus, I'll bring the rest of those um, up as well. So, thank you, KK. Hi, Talbert's mom. She's gonna go pour herself a shot of Jack Red. Jack Red. I don't even know what that is. Evil Lenny. Hello. Hello, my friend. Thanks for coming in. Um, all right. Let me make sure I have a pen. Are we sold? Sold to Kathy. She's okay. going once. Janine is going once. She's going to go once. In a second. Donna, don't I ask you to hold mine until I reach 30. Okay, Ruth. Thank you. <clears throat> I was just remembering I was going down the list of people that I still have to um, invoice, and I remember seeing your name. Oh, Dave Jackson. I just did a short, like, 20-minute video just before this of, uh, like, this much of stuff so far. Uh, this is some of it. This this is some of it that I'm going to bring a few things tonight. Um, but I didn't even make a dent in the first unit. <laughs> I just so want to give a, a shout-out and a big hello to the Treasure Hustlers. <laughs> so Jackie and Sarah are faint infamous lurkers. All right, thank you, KK. Congratulations. All right, that's for Kathy. Harley, I got you. I got you. I'm, I'm making a list of people that are telling me to hold. <clears throat> okay, another show that I don't know anything about, but it's called The L Word. I don't know. There are three sealed seasons here. If anybody's ever seen this, is it Talbert's mom? Jack Red is a bigger kick. Fireball. I got this off at $10 shipped as well. Um, it's called the L word. I don't know. Does anybody know this? It sounds like it's a... Um, Kathy a knows. She says $30. She's going to give you $30 for it oh. right out of the gate. Oh, yes, Leon. It was, right? Oh, is that what it means, Saxton? Saxton says that lesbians... Saxton, we're getting two days of a blizzard, 12 to 18 inches. I'll have plenty of time the next two days. <laughs> it's a lesbian se series. Oh, okay. Susanna says it's an amazing show. Oh, okay. And they're all brand new sealed? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we're gonna go once to KK. All right. Anybody else want to come in? Donna, I'm sure I reached 30, but I haven't been, I haven't seen a bill yet. Did I miss it? No, Pamela. You have not. I'm gonna put you on the list for tomorrow. All right. Oh, 32 to Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Kathy comes in at 34. Thank you, Kathy. Look at my hair. 35 to join Munkin. <laughs> Haven't had time to do that either. <laughs> Hi, hustlers. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Robin, a big hello to you, too. <laughs> Hi, Robin. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Who else lurks in the background that tells me that they lurk, but they don't say hello? 
<laughs> 42 to Sandy Kirk. Forty-four to Jor Munkin. Forty-five to Kathy. Thank you, guys. Um, I'm trying to think. Farmer, yeah. farmer, farmer, are you farmer. Farmer. farmer, late night is here. I said hello, but got skipped. Oh, late night. I'm so sorry. Night, sorry. Hi, honey. Hi, late Steve night. Kirk is at fifty. Wow, this is a desirable series. Who knew? Who knew? I never heard of it. Me neither. He has the best L word. <laughs> Where's Farmer? I don't see him, Gary. <laughs> T, I got my packages yesterday. Lots of goodies for Christmas. Thank you. All right. Awesome. The packages are arriving with you guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Richard says, am, T, you look tired. I am, Richard. Richard, I've been going, going, going since early this morning. <laughs> Tammy, we're probably going to do, should we do one or two dollar increments? What do you think? Um, you mean if we start at 10? Yeah. I'm okay with one. I'm, I'm okay with one. That's mm -hmm. fine. Joy's out. Just, you know, do us a favor, guys. If you really want it, don't go to, don't, don't let us drag on 11, 12, 13, 14. I mean, make a $15 bid if that's what you're willing to pay sometimes. Um, but Listen. I think once we get to like 25, I don't want to go 26, 27. <laughs> right. I don't know. Hi, Renee. Oh, it's wrong on the, on. it's Joe on the wrong channel. Oh. Good night, Leon. Good night, Leon. T, wondering where they sent mine. Mm, I don't know, Susan. I haven't seen any sign of it. Hers is missing. T, did you bring my Mr. No, he's sending it, Evil Lenny. I did not. I couldn't wait for him to invoice and everything. Um, that makes for too long of a bid. All right, let's go for two. Let's go for the I two. Mean, two he, he, I have no problem like up to 20, but if we're going to be at 20, then. Oh, God, Connie's is still in the wind as well. Sold to KK for 55. Thank you, Kathy. Connie, your post office is. Uh... That's all right. Jackie or somebody out there's box has been floating around. And JJ. It must be something with the J's. JJ and just Jackie. <laughs> all right. The L word. All right. Here's the complete first and second season of Party of Five. $10 start. Again, sealed, brand new. It's not the local post office. It's the hub where all the packages go. They're overrun. I love that show. Which, The Party of Five? Yeah, love it. Oh, really? Yeah. I that's watched it. Oh, my gosh. It was such a great show. Ricky and I used to watch it all the time. You guys, shout out to Christopher Chatworth. He just gave me, a, um, just sent me a text message. He said he'll pop in. He just got home from the hospital. He said he'll pop in in a few minutes to say hello to everybody so we'll, we can give him some love. Yeah, that is such a great movie. Great series. What series is that? I think it was like I think it was on for three or four years. Well, it's remember. season one and two. It's season one and two. Brand new again, sealed. Oh, really, Jill? Yeah, Ricky and I used to watch it all the time too. It was so sad, wasn't it? How is it that is how how old is it? Is it old? Oh, it was before we had kids. So really. Yeah, so 20 years old at least. Oh, okay. Massimo's 21, so it's got to be, what year does it say a year on it? Well, it doesn't matter what year it is because they could have come I'm just shocked it's year. printed in the United States. <laughs> you know how it goes, so I guess that means it is all there. <laughs> okay. Connie comes in at 22. Kathy's Corner said she watched it too. I loved it. It was in the late 90s. Looks like 95 if I'm reading it correctly. Kathy's out. Connie's in for 22. 
That's when they had good shows on TV. They don't have good shows like that on TV anymore. The least. only, I, and you know, it sounds so funny. I and I guess it's it's whatever you're you get into. Like I loved One Tree Hill. Like I still watch. I never it. watched that. I love One Tree Hill. I just do. <laughs> There's Christopher. Hey Christopher. Hey Christopher. I hope you're feeling well. Honey. I had a few of them when I was young on a Friday night after the bars closed. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Hello, everyone. He's so fresh. <laughs> Party of five. <laughs> this is oh, great. So, okay. Jenny, so many people told me I needed to watch that. I think I watched one episode and it just, it was like two or three years ago or something. And it was just not a very good time for me to be watching sad things to cry. So I, right. I didn't watch it again. It's funny. There's certain things like One Tree Hill. I probably I have it all on DVD. I have it. It's on, um, not Netflix. What's the other one? My son Hulu, and I watch it on there now. I'm, I'm like back up. Like I'll, I'll start all over again. Um, there's another one called Grand Hotel. It's Spanish, but there's English subtitles. That was a great series. If anybody watches that, um, and what was the other one that was good? Well, everybody knows I like Ozark. Ozark is great. And Kathy Sharice wants to know if you ever sold the touchscreen laptop. All right, we're sold to Connie for 22. Thank you, Connie. All right, honey, you go. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, here I am. All right, so I'm going to start off with I got some, I have I have some brand new towels. Um, I'm going to start these off at $10, $10 right. and what you get is their, their charisma, nice their charisma, luxury four piece towels that you get two hand towels, two washcloths, 100% cotton and two bath, um, sheets. They're called, um, like, Oh, bath towels. They're called. I thought they were bath sheets. KK is going to start us off at 10 Nope, she's going to go to 20. This is a, a gray color. And yeah, it's a great set. 25 to Ronnie G. Two hand towels, two face cloths, and two towel towels. How big are those towels? Do they tell you on the tag? Don't, don't open them up. Just see if they tell I'm you on look. the... Yeah, I'm going to look. I'm going to see if it says it on the tag. 100% um, cotton. No. It doesn't they say. Look they look nice and thick, too. Yep, they are. Let's see. Luxury towels, 100% hydro cotton, whatever that means. Um, no, it doesn't. But I'll just show them. I mean, they're big. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tammy's in for 35 now. Nice big towels. Nice big bath towels. Hey, Wendy, Wonder Woman. Hello, Wonder Woman. Hey, <laughs> Christopher. Yeah, I had mine out a few years ago. Okay, is there anybody else? KK's in for 38. Two towels, two um, hand towels, and two face cloths. Six pieces. Six pieces. Two, four, six, yeah. Wonder Woman's in for 40. KK's out. Okay. Is that it? Done and done. Done and done. I don't think anybody else was bidding, right? Nope. I think everybody else went out. Tammy went out, I think. Did I see an L from Tammy? Okay. 
Yes, there it is. Okay, so we, KK's out, Tammy's out, Ron, Ronnie G is out. Okay, I'm going to do it again, but this time in luxurious white. I love white. White is beautiful. Who wants to do white ones? KK comes right in at 30. The white is beautiful. Nothing like white towels. Thirty-five from Jill. Forty from Kathy. Yeah, right, Perlini. Me too. It's my favorite. White bedding, white towels, white everything. Forty to KK. <laughs> right, Sandy. <laughs> They're wonderful unless you put them in with the blue towels. That's a no-no. No. -no. no. <laughs> or red ones. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I guess we went a little quick there. They hadn't sold the last one yet. Sorry, Janine. Sorry. All right. We're at 40 with KK. Jill, you out, honey? Anybody else? Yeah, Janine, sure. So those were the gray ones. These are the white ones. All right, let's go once to KK for 40. Right, Jenny? Let's I'm going to go right out of the box real quick. I'll be right back. For twice to KK. And we're sold, 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 sold to KK. All right. Um, and I have one color left and let's do the same. We'll see where it goes. Or should we just sell it for 40? This one is tan, two bath towels. Kathy, Chris billed me yesterday for your trolls. I bought trolls earlier in the day. I emailed him and told him they were yours, but he hasn't retracted yet. Okay. All right. Let's bid on them. Jill comes in at 30. So this is a pretty kind of um, like a, a tan color, I guess you could say. Susanna is out. Thirty-two to Jenny, thirty-four to Jill, Mocha, Shelly. Yep, thanks. I wonder if it says the color. Made in green is what it says. Made in green. Charisma is the name. It doesn't say the color. Hydro Cotton, forty to KK. Taupe, taupe, tan, sand, okay, let's sell it to KK, Jill, you out, honey? Sand, right? That's what I think. Hey, Todd, Flippin' Hustler, Sandstone. Yes, Jenny's out. Who cares there? Kathy's now. <laughs> Topi. Okay, $40 to Kathy. She's like, who cares, honey? All right, you guys, here's the deal. 
You know that um, when I bring things, let's see, this is going to KK also for 40. Um, <clears throat> I will go tomorrow. <clears throat> if I can pick up multiple lots of these, Wonder Woman, you bought the gray ones. Do you want more gray ones? Do you want two sets of gray or um, KK, you bought the white ones and the tan ones. Let me know if anybody else wants, wants a set of these towels for $40. Let me know the color and let me know if you want a set. Two towels, two hand towels, and two face cloths. If there's anybody in the chat that wants a set of them for $40. Towels are expensive. This is a great deal. And they are Charisma, and you guys all know that name. So it's a really great name for towels. You guys can let me know if anybody else is interested. If you want two sets, I do, but not white. What color would you like? Okay, you want one set of white ones, Jill? Okay, you're good with one set. Okay, Jill wants white. And Perlini wants white. Um, <clears throat> Amy, you want two sets of white? Um, let's see, Donna, Perlini saying Donna, Perlini, I have you for... Perlini, I'd love two sets of white. Okay. Two sets. Got it. Cool Ranch wants two sets of white. Keep your fingers crossed. I can get them. I'll go first thing in the morning. Um, so I got Perlini. Uh, Susan says any color is fine. Susan, any color. Yeah, they're all beautiful colors. Susan Arrington. Um, you got black? No, gray. <laughs> the thing I have. Did I get everybody? Perlini, Jill, Barbley. The face cloths are large, much bigger than my hand. How does she know that? She must have them. They're popular towels. They're good towels. Oh, okay. I'm dirty. I need dark towels to hide so I don't get yelled at when it's laundry day. Yes, we're doing them as lots. So that means I'm on, um, I, that was lot seven for me. Barbara says, I have a set of them. Do you have some with flags? No, no flags. Who's asking these questions? I don't know. Perlini, <laughs> yours is lot number five. Perlini, your lot number five, two sets of white. Absolutely. I have those. I bought them from Macy's. Laugh out loud. Yeah, so you probably paid up at Macy's. Okay. I'm replacing my towels. Awesome. Nothing like nice, fresh towels, right? So beautiful. Okay, KK, I have you down for white ones and tan ones. All right. Are you ready, sweetheart? Yes, I am. Okay. I got mine as a gift. That brand is at Costco out here. Is it? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, well, the shelf pulls, sometimes um, I'm hoping that... You know, they get a lot of Christmas. I think I'm going to buy some Christmas shelf pulls af after um, the holiday. I think I am. 
Last year I didn't, but I think I'm going to this year because the, the Costco shelf pulls are beautiful that they get. Not for this price, yeah. They are the best. Walgreens, bluegrass picker. He gets his towels at Walgreens? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> White or gray, please. Andrea Baker. Andrea, how many, honey? One? Not gray. Either white. Andrea wants some. How many, Andrea? One, honey, or? She said white if available. If not, she'll take gray. Okay. So, Andrea. White. She just wants one set. Or gray. One set. Dave Jackson, I use napkins. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Honestly, Dave Jackson, I, I've talked about this before on here. I can't wait for the day where we can just get rid of towels completely. I want a shower where once you're done bathing yourself, you turn on a switch and then, you know, like when you go into the bathrooms and stores and you dry your hands and whoo, like that, that heat and that suction. And I want to just stand there in the shower and I want to just get air dried, <laughs> air dried, just spin all around my hair, like all of it, just get air dried all over. No towels. Don had called a car wash, right? <laughs> if they can put that in a car wash, why can't they do that for our homes? I want that. I want that in my shower. So I don't ever, because if you if you have teenagers, you know that towels are a huge, huge problems. Sold salt, lot nine to Wonder Woman White. Did she want another one? Did I miss it? I have Wonder Woman down for for the, first, for the first set, not the white ones. For the gray. She wants white too? Yes. Pay attention, I'm selling towels. Pay attention, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Janine. <laughs> She's so funny. Okay, so Wonder Woman wants. <laughs> I was talking about showers. <laughs> No, but seriously, you guys think about it. If they can do that for a car wash, why aren't they putting that? Why aren't they putting that shit in our house? Like I, I need that. And my that fire bowl's getting to her already. What? <laughs> fire bowl's getting to you already. Oh God, you think so? That's what it is. That's what it is. It must be. It's fine. It's good. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. The Donna, that's a great idea, right, Joy? Think of the money that will save the laundry, the detergent, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie's laughing her head. The laundry, the detergent, the the fighting, the fighting that goes on in this house over towels. A leaf blower, Donatella, right? They do have full body dryers. Why don't I have one in my house? My husband's a contractor. I need to get one of those. And the the electric bill of not having to do all that laundry, the water bill, because our water bill T <laughs> will sell you a blow dryer you can use in the shower. <laughs> oh God, yeah, right. I don't want to use T's blow dryer in the shower. No doubt Dyson is already working on it. I agree. I agree. They are, that's going to be like the turn of the century. Everyone's going to have those in their showers. Towels are going to be obsolete. People are going to start... People are just going to start collecting towels. <laughs> Somebody's, she'll be selling towels next year. Someone is looking for this. Someone in like 20 years is going to be like, I remember my mother used to buy white towels and they're going to go on eBay looking for white towels because you, you're not going to be able to get them anymore. They're going to be gone. This towel. Everybody's going to be blow drying their bodies in the shower, spinning all around. <laughs> blow. Wouldn't that feel awesome? Michael says they're already available, Donna. Check Amazon. I saw them. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> Deborah Reed says the blow dryer in the shower is called murder. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, gosh. Janine's yelling at me. What am I doing? Oh, she yelled at me before. I thought she was yelling at me before again. <laughs> okay. Tell T it's her turn. Here you come. 
Okay. <laughs> you are. <laughs> All right. Ooh, what do you have there? Okay, so it looks like I think, I think, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It looks like mostly Yu-Gi-Oh! But there's one last page of Ballsy, Dragon Ballsy. Oh, My God. son, if he's watching, is gonna kill me in a minute and to know I'm even selling anything like this without him looking at it first. So I have no idea. Um, but Dragon Ball Z one sheet. And then I think these are Yu-Gi-Oh's. I think. I think they are. I think I saw that name somewhere. Yeah, they I think they're Yu-Gi-Oh's. Okay, I'm gonna bag up these towels. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, Jenny's going to start us at 10. Thank you, Jenny. And again, just came out of this storage unit. So I don't know. My win is your win, as they say. And I'll tell you how many sheets in a minute. If you want me to count it, let's just see. Make sure. Well, oh, pages are filled. Hey, Wes. Harley Kitten's in at 18 now. Yeah, this binder leaves a lot to be desired. I probably should have just taken the sheets out of here. I'm, I think I'm going to do that. It's going to be easier to show you guys and count the pages. And the whole thing is trash anyway. Oops. And it looks like, oh, it looks like there's multiples. I just, for whatever reason, that just came out of one sleeve. And there's actually five of them in that sleeve. So it looks like these sleeves have multiple cards in them. Because I just put that down in that particular sleeve. They all came out of that top one. So some of them have multiple cards in them. And then I'll count how many for you guys. And then I will count. Yeah, there's definitely multiples in here for sure. I see five in that one. Jenny's in at 20. Yep, we got you, Jenny. We got you, honey. Who's safe? Pam, we're looking for 22 now, sweetheart. Thank you. All right, so that's one sheet. That's two sheets. Oops. <laughs> that's three sheets. Four sheets. Five sheets, six sheets, seven sheets, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And because there's some duplicates in here, times, let's just call it 20 times 9 is 180, right? Yep. I don't know. There's probably 200 cards here, I guess. About 200 cards. Because there's some of these sleeves that have... Um, you know, duplicate cards in them as well. And then some of them look like they're sleeves and sleeves. Like this card is in the sleeve, but it's also in a sleeve. So. Mm 
Yeah, and then there's some, like this one feels like there's quite a few, and there are inside, there's multiple, multiple in this particular sleeve. So you get multiple ones. Can, but there's definitely 200 cards here, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Just feeling the thickness of some of these where there's more than one card. Um, so double-sided, 18. Yeah, e easy 200. Probably more. Probably more for sure. Um, this one here, the sleeve. This sleeve has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in it. And that's just in one section. So this one's got 4. Two. Up, oh, this one feels thick too. Yeah, so you got plenty of cards in here. It's four. So you definitely have a lot of cards here. Definitely have a lot of cards here. All right, Pamela's going to be out. Jenny's in at 32. All right. Nice deal. Nasty. Can you see them closer? Sure. Absolutely. How close do you want to see them? Yeah, with a, with with a few exceptions, Janine. Like these Dragon Ball Zs, there's only one card in each of these. Um, but then again, some of the Yu-Gi-Ohs have um, some of the Yu-Gi-Ohs have like four in them. So I I don't want to I don't want to you know overestimate either. And then you guys don't get 360 cards, and I get yelled at. There's at least there's over 200. Okay, let's just leave it at that because I can guarantee that. Um, and because I didn't individually count anything, I'm just bringing this to you guys. See, like this sheet, this particular sheet does not have it on the other side because all of these cards are individual because they're also in another protective sleeve on top of this protective sleeve. So that's why. So this one, this one wouldn't have 18 cards in it. This one only has um, the eight cards in it. So that's why I kind of was, some are considered rarer than others. Yeah, this but this particular sleeve here, like this one definitely does not have a duplicate in it either, I see, because you've got the backside of those cards. But then again, like I said, some of them have four and five in other sleeves. So I just want to be there, fair and just kind of say this 200. See, and, they're and asking you to hold them closer. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, okay. All right. Is there any other interest? We're going to call it. Uh, who was winning? Um, Tammy's in for 35. Rise Up is in at 40. They want to see the names. Mama G. Hi, honey. I hope you're feeling well. Hey, Mama G. I just don't want to handle them. I'd rather not take them out if, unless you really want me to. I didn't want to put my fingers on as much as possible if I didn't. No, I wouldn't take them out. Forty-six to rise up. Do you, Frank? Hi, Carol. Thank you for coming in. Hundred and twenty-seven of you here. Thank you so much, everybody. Hey, guys. Bolo Buddies is in the house. We pay for it. Fifty-six. 
55 to rise up. Thank you, rise up. Thank you, Jenny. Frank says that he has a couple of first editions. Yeah, so you guys tell me, is it the green, the purple, or the beige? There's all three in here. Which which is which? No comps allowed at the auction. <sighs> Was somebody putting comps in? Did I miss it? Sixty-five to rise up. Thank you, Rosa. And again, I still didn't go through all of these yet. <laughs> Again, like I can feel this. There's, there's definitely in this one here, there's like four in that one. Four in the middle one. You can see it's kind of got extras in there. Seven D to Jenny. Where's Kelly tonight? Where's Junebug tonight? Where's Jolene? Where's my Junebug? Junebug, are you lurking? I know, right, Michael? The snow apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, originally we were getting 12 to 18. Now we may mix with a little precipitation of rain and sleet. So we may get a little less. And being on the coast of Long Island, sometimes we see less snow than the city and upstate. And they're definitely going to get 12 to 18, maybe even more. All right, Jenny is out. Yeah, it's a great way to end 2020, right? Just like, what else could happen? <laughs> you just need to go, bye-bye, yeah. see ya. A blizzard. See ya, see ya, see ya. I don't know what if those are the backs of them or some other cards. There might be some different cards I just noticed here, too. I have no idea. That big dragon thing. I don't know. Don't know. Oh, really, Christine? Yeah. All right. We're sold to rise up. Thank you, rise up. Thank you, honey. What's six days of darkness starting tomorrow? What does that mean, Jackie? I don't know. They, are they turning off your electricity now in California? <laughs> California's gone mad. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. A to who knows how much can I get paid? Right, Michael, right? I wish I could get paid a half a million dollars to get the weather right sometimes. The moon is supposed to block the sun? Really? Happens every 250 years just in California that's going to happen? Beginning of the winter solstice. Really? 
It's a jersey. This one's a jersey. It's a size medium. It's a dance. And it's $10 for the first person to put dance in the chat. $10 start on the hoodie, you guys. Just $10. Whoever wants it, $10. Ten dollars. Put dance. Buy it now. Buy it now. Sorry, I should have qualified myself. Ten dollars on the um sweatshirt, you guys, on the hoodie. Hey, Moni, love. Hey, Moni, love. Solstice is on the 21st. I don't know. It's the first I'm hearing of any of this. I don't know. All right. No one's interested in the size medium dance hoodie for $10? Nobody wants it. The United States is just a speck in the universe, Donna. Yep. I agree. Hey, Jonathan Alfaro. Welcome in, Jonathan. Thanks for stopping in. No interest in the dance shirt? All right. We'll pass on it. It's fine. I won't bring any dance stuff tonight. There's no dance people here. Hitting the fireball. Rhonda says they're telling you fibs. I can even do a cartwheel. Oh, I can't Julie. even do a cartwheel. <laughs> Julie. Okay, I missed the hoodie. Per show Perlini. $10. Buy it now. It's amazing. Perlini, pay attention, please. Pay attention, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> it's it says dance it's got the pockets it's got the fitted sleeves it's got the fitted bottom it's a jerseys this one it's got the strings for the hoodie and it's a size of medium Perlini, we were only joking she wrote never mind <laughs> <laughs> we're kidding you honey I had to look up six days of darkness. It was post a satire site, meaning joke. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. All right. No interest. Seriously, nobody wants it for $10. All right. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Let's go back to movies. Maybe you guys want to. Uh, Mary Tyler Moore. Awesome. Tyler Moore's brand new sealed original series. Ten dollar start. Anybody's interested? Never opened. Connie's gonna come in for ten. Thank you, Connie. Connie's at 120. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Connie's so surprised. <laughs> um, they are DVDs. They are DVDs. DVDs. There is hope. An item I shipped November 27th was just delivered. Yes, and some of our peeps here have been getting their stuff, which is good. Some of some of them have been getting our stuff. Of course, I still have that customer on Poshmark that's cursing me out. Now we're on day 12 of a Yankee hat. It's literally was a small first class package that's completely MIA. I don't even know. <laughs> Susanna. Hey Jade. All right, let's call it to Connie. No other interest in Mary Tyler Moore. T, yes, I got mine and loved everything and how you pack things. Aw, thanks. All right, we'll go once to Connie.
I didn't know Julie was bidding. Julie's out. Okay. Thank you, Julie. Oh, no. So crazy. Yeah, there's some things. JJ never got his package from November. Forget November. Anything that was shipped in November is going to be forget it, I think. I don't know. Aw, so glad to hear, Bobby. All right, so I'm glad to hear you guys' packages are trickling in. So glad. Sold to Connie. Thank you, Connie. All right, honey, you want to go? You're muted. Okay, this is what I have. I'm going to start it at $10. For some reason, when I move it, the bulb inside must be loose. So that's something that you'll have to address. Does everybody know what this is? And look it's how big salt, it is. It's a salt lamp. Yeah, look how big it is. It's huge. But the bulb inside, if you keep it still, it's it just glows. But if you move it, it does flicker. So you have to take the base apart on the bottom and fix the lamp. But $10 start. It's All right, massive. KK's going to start us off. Jade is in at 15 it's massive. Let me turn on the light so you can see it, how beautiful it is. <laughs> yeah, right? Frank said you look like you're doing fortunes. <laughs> look at the size of this baby. Um, so it's just two screws on the bottom, you guys. See? No, you can pull that out without unscrewing it. Just tweet, squeeze. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe you better unplug it first. Maybe you better unplug it first. God, that scared me. Hold on. Let me unplug it. It's still unplug working. It. Okay. All right. Um, now, I, we I still do two things yeah, together. I yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, the bulb probably needs to be replaced. Ouch. Yeah, it. the bulb has to be replaced. No, I don't think so. It was loose. Let me plug it back in. Okay, there we go. The bulb was loose. And there you have it. It is absolutely huge. Look at the size of this thing. It's bigger than my head. No, it's fine. Julie, stop writing out when you're not even in. <laughs> Woodbine girl says she jumped too. Yeah, it was just loose. But it's all right. Jade's in at 15. Any other interest? Kathy's out. It's a beautiful lamp. And it's very, very heavy. Very heavy. I mean, it's got to weigh probably close to 15 pounds. Kyle, she's selling it, honey. Wanted to jump too. Yeah. I'm surprised the bulb didn't burn out. And it even has the salt drippings on it. It's really, really beautiful. And it's got a wood base. 17 from Rhonda. It's massive. They sweat. Yeah, well, it gets really hot. Jade is out. Rhonda's going to take it for 17. No other bids. Oh, does it? So it needs to be placed on a dish, according to Susanna. 
It's a great deal. We're going to let it go for 17. All right, I'm going to put it down. I'm going to unplug it because it's really heavy. Whoa. Oh, I can't unplug it. Okay, there it goes. All right, is that what this is? Is this the salt that's eroding? From yes. The lamp? yes. Yes. Sold to Rhonda for 17. I'm putting mine on a dish now. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. It weighs a ton. Okay. All right. Thank you, Rhonda. 17 to Rhonda. Salt lamp. All right. All right, folks. This is my lot number 11. And it is going to come to you in this box. I can't close it all the way. I'll try to pack it better once I once I ship it. But it's going to come in this box. And it's a dibble box. And I'll show you some of the items that are in it. All right. I'm going to start this dibble box at 25. And you'll see why. So these are all... Um, there's multiples of them. There's pins. This whole box is full of vintage pins. And there's multiples of them. Let's see if I can find all the different ones that there, that there are in here. Astronauts. Let's see if there's, so that's three different types. I think that's it. Three different types, and there's of those different type pins. I'll count them for you real quick. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty. 2, 34, 36, 38, 42, 43 pins. There's 43 pins in there. All right, so that's the first item in the lot. The second item is this. Um, Mid-century art bowl. This is the name on it. Chromo Margan. I don't know. I didn't look it up, but it comes with the box. It's really beautiful. Chromo, I don't know what language that is. Made in Germany. It's made in Germany. Okay. Then there's this little bag with um, a couple of little porcelain necklaces in it. There's this bag. I didn't look to see if these are marked, but it's this bag. These are our belts. It says three metal belts on it. And that's the way I got them. There's a lot in this. I'm going to try to go fast. There's one of these ID bracelets. What's that for? I don't know. Does anybody know what that's for? Mm, doesn't. Don't know. I don't know. Some sort of like emergency bracelet. There's this and there is a, it's, it is signed inside with letters. Uh, it's, I have not tested it to see if it's silver or not but there is something written inside of it. I just don't know what. There's this, which is a pillbox. And it says something. 
to something inside. You guys will have to look it up. It's a Dibble box, you guys. So you guys are going to have to. There's these Mother of Pearl cufflinks in here. Looks like maybe two or three sets. This that says Napoli. 1944, Anzio, Casino, Rome, Firenze. And then these are, I think, money clips, Hong Kong, and this one. So this is just like a nice mix of, what is this? A Viking ship. It's a Viking ship. I got to look at it. I don't know what it says. I can't read it, but it says it says a bunch of stuff on it. You guys will have to do the research. Like I said, this is a devil box. So here are a bunch of chains, some vintage keychains with different companies on them. Here are another beautiful pair of cufflinks. Here is a, it's made in Japan. It's Wood a fine girls in a 42 now. It's a porcelain doll with like a, a broom. It looks like it's brand new, like it's never been used. I have no idea what you use that for, but she's in there. Um, these spoons. I did not look at them. Let's see if I can tell you what they say. They say, let's see if I can see it through the plastic. I can't, I can't see it through the plastic. Let me take them out. This one says, Simon L. George H. Rogers Company. I don't see if it says 925 anywhere, but I'm not looking really hard because I'm going to go fast because there's a lot of stuff in this box. And this one says Carlton, Carlton Sinner, Carlton Silver Plate, Carlton Silver Plate on those two spoons. And then this spoon, whoops. Is says Peppy Peppy E S S Silver Plate. It's Washington D.C. It's the capital. Okay, so you get those spoons in there. These are five mood rings. All right, Vintage Memories is in for fifty now. Here are two pins, that one and this one that's in there. This is some sort of vintage toy. I don't know what it is, but someone's looking for it. They had this when they were growing up. <clears throat> um, there's an old apothecary bottle in here. Main. There is, I have no idea what this is. I'm thinking it might be like belly button rings. I don't know. Body piercing stuff. Um, you guys remember this little girl? She was in my background. She's in the Dibble box. These are all silver charms they're all marked 925 silver and they all have initials on them or something on them let's say yeah this one has a j this one has an o see it has an o and it's got 925 written on it so you've got some silver in the slot and you've got one one, two, three, four, five, six sil sterling silver charms. No necklaces, just the charms. Um, you have a pair of 
Costa Del Mar sunglasses. I wore these for a while. They have a really bright violet lens and I'm not a big fan of them, but these are Costa Del Mar and they're in good condition. They do have some light scratches, um, but not anything like crazy to be concerned with. All right, Kay Kaysen for 65 now. Here's a whole bag of different, there's the Mickey, just a bunch of different, there's an angel, just a bunch of different pins in here. Some, another angel, another Mickey, there's that. There's this, it's a belt buckle. And it's three ducks. And it's a belt buckle that's in there. There's this here. Casey Jr. It's a piece of vintage cloth. And for those of you that are not familiar with selling vintage cloth, it sells very, very well. This is a pillowcase and it's a vintage cloth. I don't know what Casey Jr. is, but there's Dumbo. So and Donald it's, Duck. Oh, it Disney. is. It's Disney, Disney. you guys. This is, Disney. this is valuable. Hi, honey. Can I microwave this? Can you microwave that? Why do you want to microwave that? Chocolate milk? Ch no, use a coffee mug and then pour it into there. <laughs> um, okay. Then I have... 70 from Vintage Memories. Okay, then, can you it's a Eskimo pin with fur around it. And the, you have that. Um, you have, it says Tweety, date of birth 11-21-42. And it's, it's a Tweety dog tag. It says something there on the bottom. Don't know what it says. And then it also, here's another dog tag. I don't know what that one says. Oh, Tweety as well. So you get two Tweety dog tags. Don't know why. With the Tweety box. I, I put in a Lucky Karma bracelet in the lot. Um, I don't know what this is. It's a glass, maybe to set something on. A candle. Candle, perhaps? maybe. Candle. Huh? Candle? Maybe a candle. Maybe a candle, yeah. There's this, and I don't know what it is, but it's an Apple product. It's a dumb drive. Oh, is it? Bolo Buddies is in for 75 now. It's a thumb drive? Yeah. For Apple computers? That's what okay. it looks like. Might be. I don't know. Maybe not. Then you get... Thank you, Bolo Buddies. Then you get... Um, these three, I don't know how to open this. Hold on, let me see if I can open this one. You get this clock and this clock and... Oh, thank you, Edwin. Edwin Diaz says that's an MP3 player, Apple, old model. Oh, okay. And this clock. Little travel clocks. I'm not an Apple girl, so I didn't know that. And how about a Ninja Turtle? A Ninja Turtle toy? What is sticking out of his... What is, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. What is going on? Shh, Courtney's here. And she's bidding. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just his, it's just his thing, Courtney. <laughs> it's just his thing in the front. That's all it is. It's just, it's just his thing in the front. That's all it is. It's, don't worry, Courtney, it's fine. I don't know what it is. And then you get this Mickey Bank. This is an awesome double lot. And then I put... 80 now from Vintage Memories. 
And then I put um, a brooch. Um, it is signed. Let's see if it's a $225 brooch, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> no, $275 she bought. It says on it, I can't make it out. I'll show you. Andrea is the brooch expert now. Bolo Buddies, did you hear Andrea bought a $15 brooch, I think it was, and sold it for $275? <laughs> this is something. It's, it looks like it has a crown on it. Let me see if I can try to tell you what it says. Um, kind of takes the fun out of it. It's got a crown. I can't read what the bottom says. I just see the crown. So there's that. Tammy says twelve dollars. You're lying. <laughs> this, this came. This came from the same lot as Andrea. I'm not. I'm not learning my lesson. This came from the same lot of Andrea's stuff. It's okay. It's going in the double box. And then I put this necklace in there, which is kind of vintagey. And then this one, and then I put a crucifix, which is really beautiful. I was going to do that as a one-off, but it's going in the box. I just want to sell everything. So that is an awesome, awesome, awesome dibble box for someone. Reseller's dream. The sunglasses, don't forget about the Costa Del Mar sunglasses, you guys. That's a great deal for that. And the sterling silver pendants that are all marked sterling. Whatever this toy thing is. The spoons. All these pins, including some Disney pins in there. These beautiful cufflinks. The keychains. This bag is very intriguing to me. I think that this bag is probably valuable with these very unusual pieces in it. These belts, which I have not even pulled out of the bag, so I don't know what designer they are or if they're designer. More pins, some mood rings, some more cufflinks. The little glass thing, the apple thing, the silver thing, the pendants, this beautiful enamel, and this bracelet. That's the whole dibble box. All right, Courtney's at 85. Woodbine Girl is out. Vintage Memories is out. We're going to go once to Courtney at 85. Nice big dibble box. 90 now from Michelle Pettis. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, everybody that bids. 95 from Bolo Buddies. Bolo Buddies sees something. Pammy is out. Pammy, thank you for bidding. Right, Julie? It's a great box. Benjamin from Michelle Pettis. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, sweetheart. Courtney, do we have to go over the rules? <laughs> Courtney, we need 110, sweetheart. 100 is $10 increments now. Thank you, Pammy. Thank you. 110 from Bolo Buddies. Thank you, Bolo Buddies. You guys, the silver, the sun is out. Uh, so Courtney's not in at 110. She's out. No, Courtney's in. Courtney's oh, in. Okay. Bolo is at 110. Michelle is out. All right. We're going to call to Courtney at 110 going once. Thank you, Courtney. Oh, awesome box. Bolo for 110. 
Julie's out. Hi, Donna Summers. Hey, hey Donna man. Summers. How are you? Julie, you weren't even bidding. Stop it. She wasn't bidding? Why is she writing out? She's been doing that in every lot. It's called to bowl. $110. Congratulations, Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. I hope you're happy with it. And I hope that you make lots of money. And this is not a paid advertisement show. But if anybody is interested in buying, and I do not get any kind of, and nor do I want any kind of um, uh, royalties or commission or anything like that. Contact Jade if you want the best Vermont pure maple syrup, a half gallon. I have no idea how much it costs, so I can't give you a price on it. Jade, are you still in the chat? Hi, Nancy. Nancy, I got your message. I'm not avoiding you, honey. I just have not stopped. I've not stopped. Look at Jade's laughing. Jade, did Nancy get her books from me? Huh? Did Nancy get her books from me? No, I have them here. She's been asking them, asking me for them for um, for two months. Could you please? All right, her books. Drop your link if anybody wants pure maple syrup from Vermont. It's a family-owned business. Jade is a huge supporter of our channel, and if we can get her some orders, I would love that. Um, so Jade, drop your 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 Facebook page, your link, whatever you need to drop. Um, maybe some people would like to sample some of your maple syrup, honey. Okay, I'll do that. Bolo buddies, thank you. Thank you so much. You got it, girl. I'll make it extra special. And on that note, if anybody's interested in ordering... A dibble box or a jewelry lot or you know anything that I have on regular basis, please um, feel free. Um, hey Carla. Yeah. So okay, let's do. Um, okay. Oh, you know what? I've got this. Let's do this. This is you guys. This is a collection of of um, I, the, from storage unit buys. Um, there's some old ones in here. There's some kids ones in here. There's some kind of, there's tweezers in here. There's uh, those toenail clipper ones, which I suggest there's two of those. Yeah, I I'm sorry, I didn't see you earlier if you were in. I didn't see you, sorry. That I suggest you wash. Um, but yeah, there's an old pair. Oh, there's, oh, what are these? Are these jewelry? These are jewelry ones, I think. Um, we'll start it at 10. We'll start it at 10. There's, um, like, these are, I mean, I remember Chris the Goose posted about scissors that he, um, like, old scissors like this. There's a following for them. Like, people, people. All right, Harley, start this off at 10. Connie's in at 12. Look at these. So there's some old ones in here. There's some new ones in here. I think this is a needle nose pliers for jewelry, maybe. Looks like it. Um, there's tweezers. Um, so yeah, so it's just stuff that, you know, when I come across this stuff in storage units, I just load it up in a bag and... There's these kind of scissors, little tiny ones. Um, here's some. These look like old school scissors. Remember those? Oh, yeah. Huh. There's those kind of scissors. So, yeah, just a big bag of scissors. At a yard sale, I bought a big bag of scissors to resell, and I kept them all. <laughs> Michelle is out. Harley Kittens at 20. Connie is out. Let's sell it to Harley. We're going to go once to Harley.
going twice and we're sold to Harley for 20. $20 to Harley. And Harley, I have something else for you. I know you're on my list, so I'll combine it with whatever it is I have. All right, I'll show one more and then I'll pass it over to you. I have not new like T has, but I have a bunch of movies. Um, here, I'll just hold it up instead of taking them all out and you can just read the titles. I'll just go down. Start this at 10 started at ten dollars Michael's at 10. Deborah Reed comes in at 15. Finding Netherland. So it's Hollywood Homicide 24 Series 2, Heads in the Clouds, Fahrenheit 9 11, 15 Minutes, Collateral. Desperate Measures, Phone Booth, Finding Netherland, Birth, Sneakers, The Postman, My Freedom America, iRobot, District 9, Diablo, um, Ultimate NASCAR, Psycho 2, Crash, Simpatico, 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 Robert De Niro, The Swan, Pride and Prejudice, House of Cards, Down, Downton Abbey, um, three set, let's say one, I don't know what they are, but there's four of them there. Happenings, The Collector, and then um, Bridesmaids, Unrated, blue for Blu-ray. Michael's at 22, Deborah Reed is out. If there's no other interest, we'll call it to Michael for $22. There's 20 of them, Susanna. Thank you for counting. Buy your ball time, Rhonda? Okay. <laughs> going once, going twice. Well, ladies, it's been fun, but it's 12.30 a.m. here, and 6 a.m. comes early. Night all bidding. 12.30 a.m. Where is she that she, it's 12.30 a.m.? Ruth? Hmm. Where would 12.30 a.m. be? I don't know. Oh, yeah. awesome, Courtney. Drop the link, honey. You guys save it. Good night, Ruth. Where would it be? 1230 a.m. I'm New Finland. New Finland. Oh, Newfoundland. Oh, Newfoundland. Oh, Canada. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ruth does know she has to pay for shipping, right? Um, yes, she does. Okay. Yep. All right, Michael gets it for 22. Michael Whalen. Sold to Michael for 22. Thanks, honey. Thanks, Michael. That was lot number 13, $22. DVDs. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here you go. All right. Alrighty, let's see if you guys have any interest in some movies. I had to put my hair up, so it's, it's driving me nuts. So I know I look different again. These are old movie magazines. Old movie magazines. We could start them off at $10 shipped. This one is Rita Hayworth on the cover. This one is January 1946. January 1946. Liz Taylor. 
Look at how beautiful Miss Liz was. Somebody wrote on her forehead on here, though. <laughs> and this is December 1950, I think that says. This one is Movie Time, Debbie's Life as Mrs. Fisher. Debbie married to Eddie Fisher. Liz Taylor's Lonely Days Ahead, How Mar Marriage Has Changed Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson was not, I don't know that he was straight. May 1956 on that one. Movie World. This one is March 1961. March 1961. This is Movie Land, The Secret of Jackie's New Glow. This one, May 1964. May 1964. Movie Mira. How the Andy Williams separation involved the Kennedys, Jackie O. And this one is July 1967. And this is Modern Screen. Lauren Bacall. Natalie. Why did I just have a blank with Natalie Wood? That's <laughs> Natalie Wood. Oh, my God. I had a mental blank. All right. And we have Connie. Oh, the, my mother used to smoke those Salem's menthol. And Hollywood's hottest stars. Is that Julie Andrews? Looks like. Oh, it's Debbie Reynolds. It's funny how Julie Andrews and Debbie Reynolds almost look a little similar. And, of course, we all know who that is. Elizabeth Taylor. So you got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight magazines. And Connie's in for 28. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Vintage Memories. Thank you, Michael, and whoever else is built, raised on Salem's. 28 from Jill. No, oh, Jill, sorry. Connie came in first at 28. Hey, casual flipper. Jill's at 30. Raised on Salem's. Oof, menthol. Yuck. Not that I smoke anymore, ever, ever, <laughs> never. But good for you, Michael. I did on and off since I'm 18. Not good. I'm glad. I'm so, I'm so glad. I think I'm six years now without a cigarette, and thank God. Yeah, they'll kill you. They will kill you. I'm glad I gave them up. Well, my husband would be dead right now if he didn't give them up either. <laughs> Thirty four to Jill. Oh, Virginia Slim light menthol. My girlfriend smoked those. Ugh, I can't I could never stand menthol cigarettes. I mean, I used to sneak moms once in the blue moon, but oof, no. Good for you, Connie. Good for you. Good. Any any anybody who can give it up, it's the older you get and the longer you smoke, the worse it is and the harder it is to quit. Do you, Barb, really? See, it doesn't bother me. But I don't really hang with people who smoke, so I'm not tempted. You know, maybe if I did, I would be tempted. But thank God. You know, it was my husband and I. We both were like, you know. I made my parents quit. Well, it's funny because my oldest son used to complain about it all the whole time, scream, yell, kick, and whatever. And guess who's, well, he doesn't anymore. He, I think he gave it up too. But good for you, Jill. Mm. 
I hear you, Summers. I hear you. All right, we're looking for 38 now. We got Connie in at 36. All right, Jill's going to be out. We're going to call it to Connie. And that was for 36 magazines. Wow. Connie magazines. Thank you, Connie. Appreciate it. And we're going to be sold to Connie. Thank you, Connie. All right. See if anybody wants to. This is uh, Lost, Seasons 1 and 2. Started at 10. Seasons 1 and 2, sealed, brand new. Lost, Seasons 1 and 2. $10 start, brand new, sealed in the box. All right, Jill. Connie actually comes in at 10. Connie, Jill, and Barb. Connie got, got there first. Barb's in at 12. Jade's in at 14. Barb's in at 16. It's another series I haven't watched. <laughs> I don't have time. When I do, I, I, I'm so bad. Like, I, I just... I'm still trying to watch the last season of Ozark. Yeah, me neither, Jade. I've never seen it. All right, Barb's in for 16. Okay, Susie. Seasons one and two here. Connie's in at 18. Yeah, I, I guess so, <laughs> Kyle. All right, Barb is out. Oh, really, Michael? Good to know. Good to know. I used to be a bad movie date because I'd fall asleep, especially if it was a Friday night movie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't take me to a Friday night movie. I'd be out cold after a hard day, long week of work. <laughs> All right, this is Lost, Seasons 1 and 2, brand new, sold to Connie for $18. Thank you, Connie. Connie, I think I can ship your stuff now. <laughs> I'll bill you tomorrow. You have to keep watching Lost. Okay. All right. Um, guys want, I, don't, I, I don't know this show either. Let's see if you guys are interested. $10 start, brand new, sealed in a box. It's called Veronica Mars. Not a clue. Veronica Mars. All right, Jay, it's going to start us off at 10. Is it fun, Kyle? We have never seen it. And this is uh, first and second season. First and second season. I don't know how many seasons they went, but it's the first and second season. 10 to Jay, 12 now to Connie. Fourteen to Jade. Five. 
awesome. All right, Connie Sal, we're going to sell it to Jade at 14. And 14 to Jade. Congratulations, Jade. Thank you, honey. Let me check in with these pants, see if anybody wants them $10 a piece. Um, they're all large. Every one of them is large. Um, style number one. These are buy it now at $10. Style number two. Style number three. And style number four. Ten dollars each. All a size large. I have multiple quantities. Just put style number in the chat if you're interested. This is style number one. They're yoga pants. They're this is a abstract of purple and orange. They're called Karoo. They're made in the US. What was that? That was me turning my, my volume back up on my computer because I turned it down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Were you calling me? No. Okay, good. If I was calling you, you'd know it. <laughs> Again, style number two, style number three, and style number four. If there's any interest, just put the number in the chat of the ones that you'd be interested in. And they are yoga pants. Is Edja Frida in the chat? I don't know. I don't think so. I didn't see him check in tonight. All right, no interest with him. So I'm going to fine. Got to always check the usuals with you guys. All right, Donna, you're up. Um. Can you show some perfume or something? <laughs> Are you eating? Yes. You are eating. All right, let me do these DVDs. Let me get them off my desk. Oh, and then maybe I'll show you guys. Um, I have that stamp book I can show. Let me just these. I think almost all of these are sealed. Most of them, anyway. I don't know, but. Some of them look sealed. So a lot of them are sealed. I don't know if all of them. Raising Helen, and yes, it's sealed. Showgirls, and yes, it's sealed. This is deluxe edition of, a, the, of Stand By Me, and it includes CD soundtrack, and it is... Um, thing that started blinking on my desk. I was trying to figure out how it works, and all of a sudden it starts blinking. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. <laughs> um, Stand by me, special edition. Prince. Oh, this one. This one is open. Princess Diaries is opened. Three to Tango is opened. With the. This is sealed. Underworld. Three's Company, season one. Oh, okay. This is a Three's Company, season one, sealed. Sealed. 
Taking Lives, Unrated Director's Cut, Sealed. Oh, thank goodness, Susan. Your other eagle is wrapped, I think, in a bundle of clothes or something. So be careful opening your bundle. Under the Tuscan Sun. And these two are sealed, and it looks like this one has the Substitute and the Substitute 3 DVD double feature, and here's the Substitute 2, so you get all of those substitutes. Is Woodbine Girl in the chat? Yes. Woodbine Girl, you still here? The Arrival, sealed. Dancing at the Blue Iguana. Hmm. Sealed. Yeah. Juno, this one's not sealed. Woodbine girl, when you open your package, when you get it, please don't run a knife along the top of it because um, your, uh, your big canvas poster thing is laying on the very, very top of it. When you unwrap it, just slice it on either side and then like lift the cardboard a little bit before you run the knife down it so that you don't slice the poster. And quite a bit, like I said, quite a bit of it is sealed. I don't know now. This thing is flashing on me and now I don't know how to shut it off. Waka Waka Power. Nine. Oh, Susanna, we have to do that. T, you have to help me. I completely forgot. What? From last night's video. Actually, I'm going to show the amount. You guys go. You guys can. Oh, help. yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna, I have a picture of the um, receipt. And you guys can help me figure it out. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna twenty-five. Connie's out. That's right. I forgot about that. Me too. Thank you, Susanna. I completely forgot about it. All right, Jill is out. We're gonna call it to Michael Whalen. Hey, Loot Raider. All right, we're going to be sold to Michael for 25. Thank you, Michael. Oh, God. What? I can't find the picture in my phone. I have the receipt in my wallet, though. Why is there no picture not in my phone? I must have deleted it by accident. I don't oh, know. This, this is in my phone. Look at this. Look at I this. Can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see anything. What you is that? What? Look at that. What is that? Guess what that is? A bruise, it looks like. Looks Lola. worse than the Lola. bruise. How did Lola. she get that? From volleyball. Have you ever seen the way she throws herself around I the know. court? I know, it's crazy. She's like nuts the way she throws herself around the court. Her and Bo, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Carla thought it was Chessie's ankle. No, it's Lola. I don't know if you ever saw my comment in one of those um, things, and I'm trying to remember the number now. Was it number 14 or number 16? Who's the, who's the girl on the team that's even taller than Chessie and Bo? Oh, number two. 14. Yeah. Yeah. They're Russian. Oh, okay. She's a big girl. She's huge. And she's, I think she's a freshman. You're kidding. No. She's enormous. Wow. I, I get them confused sometimes. Son of a gun. It's gone. The picture's gone of the receipt. I'm going to have to look in my wallet. 
It's not here. I'll have to look in my wallet. Show one more thing. Let me go to my wallet. All right, go get your wallet. Go get your wallet. Let's see if somebody wants. Let's sell these motion picture. I have more of these motion picture magazines. I'll tell you how many ahead of time so you know. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Ooh, don't tell Donna. Eleven of these. All right, and I'll try to give you the years or the dates. Or this is uh, March 1954. Elizabeth Taylor. This is October 1954. Jan Janet Lee. Janet Lee. Janet Lee. Lee. September 1954. Jane Powell. November 1954. Debbie Reynolds. Here she is again. September 1955. October 1954. Made it look so glamorous, right? July 1957. There's Janet Lee again. This one can't really read the date on the top of it. It's probably in the book somewhere. Is this cover is a little rough. This cover, just so you know, is it's like a little split there. August 1958, Dick Clark interviews Johnny Mathis and his family. Hmm. June 1956. August 1964. And that's what you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And Barb in for twenty seven. Thirty now from Jill. Well, I hit something, as you can tell. <laughs> you can't see it. I certainly can. Hey, Snapper. 32 now from Snapper. T was the person you bought storage unit deaf? No. No. I, I, am I yelling? I'm sorry if I am. I, 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 my dad is so hard of hearing, and so is my husband. I yell constantly. I've always been loud my whole life. 35 from Jill. But why would you ask that, Frank? Is it because I'm yelling? Is that why? 37 now from Snapper. How are you, Snapper? Good to see you. All right. I have it. She found the receipt, guys. 100 <laughs> One hundred twenty-seven dollars and sixty-five cents. Okay. Somebody, go, somebody, go help me find who won. One hundred twenty-seven dollars and sixty-five cents. I know you probably don't want to leave. Maybe you don't want to leave now, but um, that's what it is. We can just we can pause while he's selling this. If you're not interested in buying it, maybe somebody that's not interested in buying it can go and look for me. 12765. Person who came closest to it. 
Rhonda said she guessed at 122. Jen Bennett says she was at 126.11. Oh, wow. She might be the winner. She might be the winner, Jen Bennett. I don't know. We'll have to try that again. Oh, the Kelly says 128. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know. This is called Waka Waka Power, Frank. I don't know. I was gonna throw it in a dibble lot probably when I go to clean my desk off because <laughs> that's what it's starting to look like already. All right, we're gonna call this to snapper. Is it the closest without going over? Yes, Kelly. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And that is 37 to Snapper. Donna, she does it to me all the time. She leaves me alone with you guys. <laughs> Donna, Donna, Donna. Donna, Donna, Donna. Yes, are you calling me? Yes. All right. My turn. All right. Um, I'm going to do this Build-A-Bear. It's a pig, and she has pay, P embroidered on her shirt for pig. <laughs> and she has a poodle skirt. And I'm going to do her as a buy it now for $10. She's got cute little panties on. She's ten dollars. Buy it now. Oh, it's a, it was eleven eleven. Yes, you were calling me. Sorry. Are you done selling? Yes. Oh, okay. It was one hundred and twenty-seven and sixty-five cents. Joy Munkin gets it for ten dollars. Fourteen is the pig. To Joy Munkin, ten dollars. All right, Joy, thank you. Let me put her in here. Hi, Brian. Mr. Buys a lot. Uh huh. Hey, Mr. Buys a lot. He bid ten dollars. What do you want a, a cuddly stuffed animal for? Okay, here's my next buy it now. It's a brooch. And a necklace. It's just silver toned. It's not silver, I think. Oh, okay, Michael. Thank you. I didn't look at it close enough. It could be silver because this chain is so super thin. Oh, wow, Connie, you were kind of close too. Tani, Connie said she had her wine and now she's going to bed. Oh, gosh. No, I don't see a marking on it. I don't see a marking on it. This is going to be a $10 buy it now. First person to write the word butterfly. Butterfly? Butterfly. 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 Robin wins. Yes. Yes, Brian, we are. Summers gets it. Butterfly. We are. We are. Ten dollars, lot fifteen, butterfly. I really did mean to call you after your auction today, Bri, but I just was like crazed. Butterfly with pen. Oops, I forgot to put these in the dibble box. Oopsie. Let me put these back in the box. I don't forget. Okay. So my next one is going to be a ten dollars start. <clears throat> I need to get something to put it in. Hold on a second. All right, I'll put it in a bag. Hold on, let me get my bag. So it's a build a bear and a whole bunch of build a bear clothes. It's like a whole wardrobe. It's a ten dollars start. So this is the build a bear. It's a snowflake one. If you need this for Christmas, let me know. I'll get it out for you tomorrow. As long as you pay right away, I'll send it right out. 
And with this Build-A-Bear, you're going to get these roller blades. These are Build-A-Bear roller blades. Build-A-Bear skirt. Cute little jumper. Build-A-Bear skirt. Um, this looks like a, a horse saddle thing for the Build-A-Bear horse. This one is a Star Wars. Uh, it's Build-A-Bear, but it's um, a Star Wars outfit. See, it's Build-A-Bear. Okay, you get that. There's a lot here. Um, here is another Build-A-Bear. And then if you have another Build-A-Bear at home, I can actually go get another Build-A-Bear and add it to the lot. There's two of these cute little things. You can dress them up as trains. <clears throat> I have another Build-A-Bear right out the lot, out the door here. I'll include it. This one is Best Friends of Forever. This one is another cute little tunic top. I mean, a little girl would love this unless you're buying it for resale. Builds a bear clothes, sell well. Treasure hunt. A little build a bear purse. A little build a bear backpack. A cute little build a bear silky dress. Another Build-A-Bear, cute little silky dress. How much How much was the coins? Who are you talking to? You. How much was the receipt for the coins? Uh, $127.65. Little Build-A-Bear denim skirt with a belt. This one is... Robin's guess was $127.63. Oh my God, she won. Little build a bear. Jackie top. was close at 127.25, and so was Ua Crochet at 127.97. So you, a lot of people were really close. Wow. And we should tell people for future um, the people that were close or Robin, nobody did it, but you have to tell people they are not allowed to edit their comment because honestly, we're just coming over there now after you announced it. Somebody could go in and edit their comment and change it. Oh, yeah. You never, you never should accept an edited comment when you do a contest like that. I've seen it happen before. But congratulations, Robin. Awesome, Robin. That was so close. What was the, what was the gift? $10 off. Oh, nice. Forty-five from Kalina. There's a lot of clothes here, you guys. And whatever this is, it's, it's Build-A-Bear, but whatever that is. And let me go get another Build-A-Bear plush. Let me just pick one out. Oh, yes, late night. You're right. That too. 50 now from late night. Yeah, you can actually turn commenting off. That's true too. Probably should think about some of those things. This little Harley Davidson. We're learning. Harley Davidson and this build a bear. All right, so those are the two builder bears. One and two. Those two builder bears and a thousand pieces of clothing. Nice lot. Whew, that delicious supper. What'd you have? 
I had um, <clears throat> I had pork stir fry with spinach over jasmine rice and a piece of tiramisu necklace. Necklace. Nice. Tiramisu. <laughs> I looked at my necklace. I'm wearing a necklace. Did you notice? I never wear necklaces. Oh, nice. Yeah, I rarely do either. You got Kalina in at 75 now. I'm going to see if I could um, stand it. All right. Thank you, Kalina. Late night is at 80. Thank you, late night. It's a great lot. Thank you. Thank you, Kalina. 85 to Kalina. Oh, you did, Andrea? You noticed? I don't know how long I'll be able to stand it for. I, I'm not a jewelry person. I also have a sign that you can send with the butterflies. Oh, awesome summers. I will. Late night is out. Kalina is at 85. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. We're sold. Any other interest? Thank you, Rhonda. I have to have you look at a pair of Versace sunglasses for me, too. Do they say Italy? Made in Italy inside? Yes. They do? Yeah. Of course, I can't. Oh, Christopher, can't, you didn't have to do that. I can't pull them off the way you do. She's got them on, you guys. <laughs> I can't pull a Donna off. I just can't. Late night changed my mind. In at 90. Kalina is out. Thank you so much, late night. Thank you so much. Kalina, thank you so much for bidding. You will not be disappointed. It's an awesome lot. What's the plan tomorrow, T? Um, we'll go on my channel at some point. It's one off Wednesday. Oh. So what does that mean? You don't want me to go on my channel? We want to go on your channel? Or we're going to go twice? Why? Because I thought of it? <laughs> we can go on your channel. We can do one off Wednesday on your channel. Okay. Kalina, do you have more bears? Oh, Kalina, do I have bears? I have, <laughs> Kalina, I do, um, I can do a mystery lot of Build-A-Bears that are mostly dressed. Like when I say mostly dressed, some of them might be missing a shoe. Some of them will have hats. They definitely all have clothes for $75 if you want to order a mystery lot of Build-A-Bears. Most of them are shelf pulls. So um, I definitely will have some things for one off Wednesday. That's for sure. Okay, good. So we'll decide what time we want to go. Mr. Buys a lot goes off at four. So we'll go tomorrow night. Yeah, whatever. I, okay. I'll be snowed in by then. In fact, I don't even know. We better. I hope he's going to be at the office at four o'clock because they're supposed to get a blizzard. All right, Kalina, I'll send it to you late night. <laughs> you know, we don't negotiate on that. That's what everybody pays for the same thing. What's that? <laughs> She's like 70. <laughs> well, it's 75, Kalina. Shipped. Okay. This is what I have. It's a well, 10. I have the stamps. I'll do them next. Okay. No problem, LTR. It's a $10 start, you guys. This is a great reseller lot, or if you want them for yourself for the house. Um, I have sold lots of light bulbs. So this one is GE clear 25 watt. It's the little one. Um, so there's that one. These are like the chandelier ones. The $10 start on this. This one is the bigger ones. That are like the flame ones. This one is... Look at this one's marked eight ninety seven on Clarence OTT Light Technology. 
I have no idea what kind of bulb that is or what it goes into. Made specially for arts and crafts and sewing. It's a replacement bulb. So this is a nice reseller lot. All right, Jill's going to start us off at 10. Here's another one of those replacement bulbs. Out light, true color, swirl bulb. See details clearly, match colors accurately, helps reduce eye strain caused by glare. Goes to an outie light. Oh, I don't know what that is. Here's a Phillips little tube light is in this bundle. And here's some more of these chandelier bulbs. 25 watt and lastly another chandelier bulb so you get one two so you get a set of six and if you're listing them I would suggest listing these all together as a set of so that they're all like I know when um, I had my chandelier in my dining room I would replace all the bulbs if one went out so that they all glowed the same color. I know that's kind of crazy sounding, but that's just what I did. Um, then you get these two. All right, so this comes in for 12 now. You get those. You get these. And this. <clears throat> Perlini agrees with me. Mm -hmm. Hi, Annie. Welcome in. Hey, Annie. Not crazy. Perlini understands. <laughs> so just a bag of light bulbs is what I have for you. Bag of bulbs. Bag, bag of bulbs. Hi, Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina. Okay. I need them from my house. Laugh out loud. All the light bulbs or the chandelier bulbs? I think pink lady apples are my new favorite apple. <clears throat> yeah, I change my mind on apples from time to time. I'm not a big apple fan. I like oranges and tangerines, but grapes are my favorite. You know, I'm not a big fruit person, but I like a good apple. Summers is in at 16. For all the bulbs. 18 to Joe. Ooh, yes, I love blueberries too. Oh, yeah, blueberries are my favorite, probably. My son loves um, blackberries. When I buy him blackberries at Costco, you know, it's just a little tiny package, right? And it's like 5 $6. I mean, it's just, I only get them for him as a special treat. He literally will open the package, rinse it, and just eat the whole thing like in one like scoop in his mouth. He loves blackberries. When we lived up in Boston, we had a, um, Susanna says peaches are my favorite. <laughs> we had um, raspberry and blackberry bushes in our yard. So, and he would run out there as a little boy, five years old, and he'd pick them right off the bushes and eat them. Oh. Blackberries and, and um, ras, uh, ras, Raspberries, yeah, raspberries and blackberry bushes we had in our backyard along the fence. All right, Jill came in for 22 summers, now at 24. My dad grew um, apple, he had an apple tree, he had peach trees, he had fig trees, he grew so many different fruit trees up north. Jill is out, summers is at 24. All right, we'll go once to Summers. I have to dig, I have more of these bulbs. I have to dig them out. They came out of a storage unit. I have so many bulbs. I have so many bins. Everything's down at the mini storage. 
I'm going to get my stuff. Okay. These are going to be a buy it now, you guys. $10. They're boys. Sorrel.com. Size 2. Size 2. $10. Snow boots. For boys or girls. They have... They have... Um, they have blue um, blue on them. I just want you to know that this one here, see how they have this on it? It's like connected. This one here, somehow they cut it or something. I mean, you can still use it. You just have to tie it. So you can't resell them, but they're great boots if you want to buy them for um, a child or a grandchild or whatever. And Sorrel boots are really good boots. So they're $10. First person to put boots Boots, boots, boots in the chat. We'll get these for 10 bucks for the boots. Who's wanting G tonight? She's not here either. Oh. Praise oh. for Lucinda. Shelly wants them. What's wrong with Lucinda? T, I got the Fort Knox package from you today. Kudos to whoever wrapped it. They made it a doll proof. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell my husband, Sabrina. <laughs> Ten dollars. He's taking his frustrations out on the pat on the packaging. You want to go up? He's a good shipper. He's a, definitely a good shipper. <laughs> For sure. Is Angela in the chat? What's going on with Lucinda? Angela, hi everyone. Just wanted to pop in and say hi real quick and ask for prayers and or positive thoughts. Lucinda has not been feeling well for some time. Oh, so sorry, Angela. Sorry. They not sure what is wrong. They've been running all kinds of tests. Oh, Angela, I'm sorry. I hope she's um I hope she's better soon. Mimi got her package too, and it was grab it was wrapped to great. You notice how they don't say that about my packages. <laughs> <laughs> Throw everything in, <laughs> get a little bit of bubble wrap, wrap it all up, <laughs> slap the sticker on it. Out the door it goes. You're so lucky you have your husband help you. I've had my son help me a couple of times, and a couple of things have arrived broken. Oh, he's learning though. <sighs> oh, yeah, my yeah. older son used to help too, and we had that problem as well. So we you did with the eBay. Yeah, he does. He does really good though. I mean, he's such a good kid. Oh, anyways, um, all right, you ready? Yes, honey. I'm I'm gonna always be ready at this point. I'm just sorting through some things right now. All right, let's do this book of historic stamps. Stamps, stamps, stamps. So it is a book, and it is monograms with the prior owner's name um, on it, just FYI, because I believe going through the book as well, um, they're all addressed to the same person. Um, and I feel like sometimes I should just take this stuff out of the book because it's easier to show you guys. And I'll put it back in. It's just – I just – there's a, a lot of empty pages at the back as well. I guess it, he stopped at a, at a specific time. So um, this is what you get. Again, I'll you'll get the binder. You'll get the extra pages. And um, this is a collection of U.S. stamps and commemorative, commemorative covers, including 200 mint condition hi historic U.S. stamps. This first page, there is a, like a crease in it. Um, just FYI, this is New York, New York, April 10, 2006. And that's what these are. I believe they're all 2007 and 2008. All right. This is Indiana. <coughs> Susan, that's funny. Tammy, are you talking about my packages for the, car the, the carrier hates your packages? They're so slick with tape. He can't even get a grip on them. My packages? Oh God, she gets all these compliments, and I get an. I get thank, a, you, Andrea. thank you, Andrea. <laughs> no, he no, he might be talking. Tammy might be talking about me. <laughs> My mail carrier says he sees nothing when I get a package from Donna. What does that mean? He sees nothing <laughs> because it looks like drugs, <laughs> uh, right?
Yeah, kilos, right, Andrea? <laughs> Oh, yeah, the round ones, Tammy. <laughs> yep. Famous for my round balls. Wrapping takes talent. <laughs> Jade thinks she knows Peter Cleary. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Hey, Pete the Patriot. Hey, Pete. Hi, honey. Coming in. Did T threaten you? <laughs> no. Why would I threaten him? To come in and say hello tonight? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm joking. Donna, if you can send more Build-A-Bear clothes, I'll make it 100. You got it, Kalina. I can do that for sure. It's a deal, it's a deal, it's a deal. <laughs> Julie, I know, but that's how that is the proper shipping of any liquids. It's triple packed. Okay. A bag in a bag in a box. And technically, perfume, you're supposed to put it in a second box. I don't do that all the time. All right. So that's what you get. You got two, four. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. So it's 20 in total. And it looks like Snap is going to steal it up. No other interest. All right. Besides with the book, the binder, and the extra and the extra pages. That just fell all over my desk. But you'll get that as well. All right. Let's call it to Snapper if there's no other interest. Hey, Christopher. I hope you're feeling good, honey. Christopher's in at 15. I hope all is well, Christopher. I hope you're recovering and on the men's fast, fast, fast. All right, and you'll get, you'll get, I'll, I'll send the extra pages as well as the binder. Snapper comes in at 17. 20 now from Christopher. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Snapper's going to go out. Um, and we're going to sell it to Christopher for 20 going once. I'm going twice now. And with a fair warning... Christopher Chatworth is going to owe himself, own himself some commemorative postage stamps. Lot number 12. Nice deal, Chris. All right, let's see if you guys are interested in... Making sure I grab the last one in this box. This is what I have. Remote controls. Dirt and dust is always free here at the auction. I don't need the binder or the extra pages. Okay. All right, Chris. No problem, honey. All right. You got it. We're going to sell remotes. 
Dirt and dust is always free here at the auction. You guys are going to resell them. You're going to prep them yourselves. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And Donna, that's the second time that happened to me tonight already. Janelle is with us. I guess so. All right, so eleven remote controls. So that's a Yamaha. That's an iLive. That's a Sony DVD. That's a Sony DVD. That's a Sony TV. That's a JCPenney. That's a JVC. And as Donna would say, somebody is looking for this. <laughs> this is a very different and interesting one. I'm not really sure. Gerald in view. Uh, this might be a rare thing. I have no idea. No idea. That one is U.S. Electronics. This one is Cablevision. And this one is U.S. Electronics as well. T, what if you find all the players for the remotes in the unit? Oh, well, I guess I'm buying remotes back. <laughs> no, actually, there were several sealed DVD, VHS, sealed players, um, including... A really nice one, and um, and a Blu-ray, a sealed Blu-ray. Yeah. All right, Snapper is out. We're gonna call it to Mimi Resells. Denise is gonna have eleven remotes. Hmm. I lost my paper. The heck did I do with my paper? With your what? To my paper that I was writing all my stuff. Oh, here it is. Never mind. <laughs> this is me tonight. Crazed, 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 crazed. All right. Lot 13. Mimi. Remotes. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see if there's any interest. It's three lighters. They're all brand new. They have not been opened. These two come in a bag with the with the with the paper. One of them is this card has cards on it and it says it says I can't read it, so you guys can read it. Okay. Jo something J uh, Jerry, it says. It says lucky by the cards. And it this one is I need my magnifying glass. Hold on, Brian. Hold on.
I don't know. This the, the one I just showed you says 2005 limited edition. 2005 limited edition Sailor Jerry. That's what it says now that I can read it. Sailor Jerry. Um, and again, they're all not been used. They all still have the sticker over it. That's that one. And the other two are exactly the same. They are Sturgis Bike Week limited edition. And that's what it says. There's two of those. And again, sealed. So there's one, two, and three. Two of the Sturgis and one of the Sailor Jerry. I don't know. how they, I don't see them marked anywhere. Let's see what the little paper inside says. Let's see what the little paper inside. This one says, no, I think maybe they're cool. Are they, could they be named Sailor Jerry? No, that's just because this one says Sailor Jerry. No, the bottom doesn't say, bottom just says Sturgis. This one says 2005 limited edition. They're made in China. They're made in China. Sailor Jerry is a Zippo? It is? Okay. Let me look on this little guarantee thing that they put in the insert. I mean, there's this little certificate, Sailor Jerry guarantee. I don't see where it says that, but I'll take your word for it, Christopher. All right, Barb Leeson for 20. Snappers out. Thank you. All right, we're going to sell them to Barb Lee for 20. You guys, I'm um, sending invoices in the background because I have such a busy day tomorrow and we're coming back on tomorrow um, tomorrow night. So if you get a re, uh, an invoice, I think I, oh, I sent Kalina's, I sent a couple other ones. Um, if you pay them, your items will go out tomorrow. All right, Barb Lee, thank you. Honey, that's three for me. I might even pack them tonight, actually. All right, I have something really special. There's 80 people in the chat. Boy, we dropped yes, for sure. Yep. Somebody must have um somebody must have gone live. I'm gonna put a reserve on this only because it's expensive. Okay, I did Jill's trick on this. This is sterling. I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna weigh it. Oops, I need to come on. I was gonna say, Donna, you're not showing anything. <laughs> Look at my hair. Yeah. <laughs> up. I was so I was, done. I was just doing this, like looking, I was figuring out my invoicing. Okay. Where's that little tray? Okay. Okay. I'll show it to you. So it's perhaps black onyx and all those balls are, are sterling and it says sterling on the clasp. And you know what? I tried, um, Jill's trick with toothpaste. Look at, I did those two balls. Wow. With toothpaste. Look, it yeah. worked. She's right. Toothpaste works, you guys. Okay. Oh, I have it in my hand. For the love of God. Okay. So I'm going to give you, I can't put it on the scale without this box. So T, you do the math for me. Okay. The, box, the box weighs eight grams, right? Okay. So the box with the necklace. So now don't forget there's like black onyx on here and silver. The box with the necklace weighs 74.1, so 70, 74 grams. 
Okay, so that's pretty easy. That's 68, uh, 66. It says Sterling on the clasp. And here it is. And I'm going to start it at 50. Hey, Attic Fanatic. Yeah, we haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for coming it. in, Attic Fanatic. Um, I can tell you how long it is. It is. Kalina says Donna invoice paid. Okay, thank you, Kalina. Um, <clears throat> eight and a half. Denise says toothpaste clean soul shoe shoe soles two. Eight and a half. Um, Rhonda, this is my lot number twenty, honey. Yeah, I've I've I found at least five uh, Nike Jordan sneakers too. One original in the box, brand new. <sighs> Any interest in the necklace? Sterling and Onyx, I believe. I believe. Oh, you don't have to tell us, Attic Fanatic. We know life is crazy sometimes. Yes. Tammy comes in at 50. Anybody else? Any other interest? No other interest? Just Tammy? What are you doing? Sorry. So noisy. Sorry. I don't see any maker's mark, but I didn't clean the clasp really well. All I can see is that it says Sterling on it. All right. I know, right? They're all laughing at you. Because you're making so much noise. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, last and final call. All right, I'm going to lift the reserve on it and give it to Tammy. Because she's such a great customer. You all are great customers. And I know I do that for people time and time here and there. So, Tammy, $50. It's yours, honey, for being such a great customer. That's a deal of a steal right there. Silver to Tammy for $50. All right, sweetheart. Thank you so much for bidding. I appreciate it. No, you're not, Perlini. You're awesome. I love that you're always here. Thank you, Tammy. Perlini, I love that you're always here. You're awesome. We appreciate you so much. Um. Okay. <laughs> Perlini, I don't love that you're here. I love that I, I wish you could be here with me and helping me. <laughs> I'm going to start this at 10. It's a mystery lot. This came from the cards. This is the last box of all those cards that I had. Um, I can show you some of them. They're all like, I mean, they all sold for good money, right? They were all like decent cards. So um, I'll show you some of them, what I have. I'm really bad at showing these cards. Should I? tell you what they say in the back Rhonda honey if you have to go to bed you go to sleep honey I appreciate you helping us tonight but believe me when I tell you we can certainly 
um, try to try to you know get some other help. You need to get some sleep. If you need to go to sleep, you need to go to sleep. Thank you, Rhonda. Um, so this, so the one I looked at said 1991. This is a $10 start. It's like buying a lottery ticket. Snapper. Snapper wants me to share the Donna loop. Oh. <laughs> Thank All right, you. Bill, here you go. <laughs> we're laughing because so many people um, were asking me what kind of loops I use because, you know, the way I hold them up to the camera and I can show things like in detail. So I started, thanks to the Treasure Hustlers, they taught me how to do an Amazon Associates. So I actually have a okay. link. Okay. And if you order it, there it is. Rhonda just dropped it. If you order the Donna loop through my Amazon link, I will make three dollars. I mean, three pennies, not three dollars, three pennies. But um, this is the Donner Loop, and yeah, you don't pay any extra. <laughs> you don't pay any extra. Nope, doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just I earn a small commission. Um, nineteen ninety one tops. So basically, I don't know, guys. Um, it's like buying a lottery ticket. Ten dollars to start. This is how many are in there. Christopher, I'm so glad you're home. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you. I'll check on you in the morning. All right, Christopher. Be well, honey. Get a good night's sleep. Yeah, Thank, you for sleep. Me. Thank you for your purchase. I hope they gave you some of those yummy pills to take home with you. Yes. <laughs> yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's really, really like very little money that you earn, but it adds up. Like right now, I think my, my associate revenue is like $10 and something cents. And I think like, I don't know, maybe last time I checked, I think 18 people ordered something. So you can order anything. Um, okay. Any interest in this, you guys? $10 start? Kyle Elliott comes in at 10. Thank you, Kyle. $10 start. Lot number 21. Is Rhonda going to bed? She said no. She wouldn't sleep anyway. 21. Anybody else? We're going to give it to Kyle. Kyle. We have both Kyles in here, so be very careful. <laughs> oh, you can't use it with the link? You can't use it? You can use it with um on your app, couldn't you? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know anything about it. Okay. We're giving it to Kyle for the car. dollars now from Saxton Cole. Oh, Saxton Cole, thank you. Um, Saxton Cole, I may have to reach out to you. I'm going to look tomorrow. I kept one pair of Amanda Adams jeans, and I had them listed in my eBay store. And... I must have sold them because they asked me for the waist me uh, measurements on them. They were the white ones. I listed them. Um, they said wedding, wedding something in the title. And um, so someone is interested in the waist measurements and I went looking for them today. I literally saved, I, I saved one pair and I listed them for a hundred dollars. And um I don't know if you have the size that they're looking for. Um, I sent them a message. I took down the listing and I sent them the, a message that I needed to uh, find them in my inventory and that I would get back to them tomorrow. So if I don't get back to, if I don't find them, which I may have sold them, um, I'm going to, I'm going to send them. If you send me your, 
I don't know if you have if you've listed all your pants yet on eBay. I don't know. We need to talk. Text me. Um, I don't know how I can get that customer to you. I think you have some of those white ones. You can give the customer her eBay link, probably. Yeah. What I think what I'll do is I'll screenshot the ones I had and the size, and you can look in your inventory, and if you have them, list them, and I'll give my customer the link to your store to go to your store and buy them. That's what I'll do. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so it's a hundred. I had them on a hundred dollars. I lowered the price on them because I just figured. Anyway, see you later, alligator. But I had a buyer for them. All right, we have Saxton in at twenty now. I spent forty bucks in shipping on cards today. I think I bought enough. Somebody charged you forty dollars for shipping. You're buying from the wrong person. Is that what they meant? I guess. Saxton is getting them for 20? Yes, what it looks like. We're going to go once to Saxton. Going twice now. And with a fair warning... Saxton Cole just bought a $20 lottery ticket. Lot number 21. $20. Saxton Cole. For the cards. Saxton, I'm going to hold them until um, it reaches 30, okay? I don't have anything to ship out to you. I don't think. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything to ship out to you. Yeah, she wrote the same thing in the chat, Donna. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Saxton. Thank you, honey. And, um, yeah, and I'll get back to you tomorrow. I have one more spot that I have to look to see if I have those jeans. And if I don't have them, I'll, I'll send you the customer and you make the sale. Okay. Um, I'll show one more item and then I'll pass it over to you, T. All right, honey. I have um, a package of this yarn. It is um, Wool Ease hand dyed Wool Ease. So here's one out of the package real hand dyed yarn. It's Lion Brand. Okay, and there's the color of it. That one's out of the package, and then I have, these are in the package. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven with the sample. $10 start. No idea how much they cost. Let's scan them. $10 start. Let's see if you guys are getting a good deal or not. Just for kicks. Just for kicks and giggles. Ouch. Is there any bids on it? Fourteen. All right. Stri Shriker, Shriker. I was going to say Striker. Shriker, welcome. Summers is at 14. It is Perlini. Isn't it beautiful? Even the packaging is so nice. So classy looking. It's so cool that it's hand dyed.
It's a nice, easy listing. If you're listing it, if you're not just using it for you. I know, I love it too. I know, right, Jade Moon? Wouldn't it make a beautiful scarf? So pretty. So pretty, and it's a nice thickness. Nice, nice thickness. Okay, going twice. And who's buying it? Um, Summers for 14. Thank you, Summers. Donna Summers. On the yarn. All right, awesome. I tried to bring a nice variety of different things tonight. T, are you ready? What happened to T? Oh, she's not in the office. Okay. How about this? <clears throat> These are Holland shoes made in Holland. So it's all, you can see, it's all hand carved. They must have been souvenirs. They must have been souvenirs that somebody bought in Holland. Um, there's only one of each. So they must have just had them for like decoration or something. I don't know if these were worn. I don't know if that's from being worn or if that's the way, but I only have one of each. And then this one. This one looks like it's old. All right. Is there any interest in the three Holland shoes? Someone's looking for this shoe, you guys. Someone has the other one and they're looking for this one. No, I don't know. Um, three Holland shoes. Um, I'm going to have to start it at, all right, $10, Rhonda says. $10 to start. Well, look at that. It's got the nice, ooh, that's all like worked into the wood and painted. That looks like somebody actually wore it. Three Holland shoes. Yeah, they look cute even um, on display. Maybe use as planters. I don't know. Do people buy this sort of thing? I have no idea. I don't know anything about Holland shoes. I'm making pretend I do, but I don't. Oh, this has a hole in it. So they must have been used for... That one, this one doesn't have a hole. This one's definitely old. This one's an oldie. Can you imagine walking around in wooden shoes? No. Are you guys not talking or has my chat stopped? No, they're talking. My chat stopped. My chat's not moving. I'm like, why are they all are they all mesmerized by the shoes, perhaps? Because <laughs> no one's talking. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Termites in your shoes would suck, right, Kyle? <laughs> right. I Jade. I see you now. Now it's moving. Those would kill my feet. No kidding, Rhonda. All right, I'll put them away. No interest in the Holland wooden shoes. Can't give them away. All right. Put those down. T, you're up. Okay. Yeah, I think that they're wall hangers for sure. Okay. There you go. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's see if there's any interest tons of cds these are um i think these a lot of these are rap or hip-hop or 
I don't know, some parental advisories on them. I don't know a lot about rap and hip hop, but Juvenile, the greatest hits. Redman. Diplomat and something presents Dipset. The Roots. T, you see what time it is? Wow. How did flew. that happen? It flew, right? Yes. I don't even know how you... And just ironically, I happened to ask you what time it was. At I know, it's 12.11. 12 11. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose, you guys. It was just coincidental. 60 minutes of funk. <laughs> Little cease. Right, Kelly? Ludicrous. The Great Ones. And and you would think I'd be asleep by now because I'm making, look at my face. I'm so tired. It's not even funny. <laughs> <coughs> Turk, Young and Thuggin. Thank you, Sandy. Good night, honey. Sauce money. Sauce money. LL QJ. All right, and that's the lot. And if there's no interest, we'll pass. $10 ship to start, Mimi. That's $10 Tuesday. <laughs> it's $10 Tuesday. All right, Steve's going to start us off at 10. And Steve, I did not forget about your cassettes, but we have that new thing in place, waiting for everybody to send, spend 30 before we do the shipping. So... Um, thank you for being patient and not bugging me about that. <laughs> okay. I, I figured you knew. I just didn't know. We, we forget who we tell and who we don't tell. Or Steve will sell. Steal. Oh. Denise comes in for 12. Steve's at 14 now. Are, are they Pearl Nini? I I don't follow much rap or um, I think it's rap, right? Is this rap? Somebody tell me because 16 now to Denise, 18 from Steve. It is, right, Michael? That's what I thought. Rhonda, Rhonda, you need some sleep. We're going to go soon anyway. At least I am. Rap and hip hop. Okay. 20 now for Mimi Resells. It's both. Okay. All right. Steve's going to be out. We're going to call it to Mimi at $20. Got my cup of tea. Give me some new water and echo. Yes! My cup of tea, Michael Whalen, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure, for sure. <laughs> definitely, definitely. 
Yeah, but these may sell well. I don't know. Uh, Mimi knows. She knows if she can sell them. Um, all right, let's see. We did some DVDs earlier. I have some more. Let's see if anybody wants the one, two, three, four seasons of NYPD Blue. Four seasons sealed. Season one, season two, season three, and season four. One, two, three, and four, all sealed, all brand new. $10 ship to start. Okay, I'm done playing video games or I would be bidding on so much stuff. <laughs> no, you're not bidding on nothing. <laughs> you're not bidding on nothing. Go away. <laughs> I love you, Brian. You know that. All right, Striker comes in for 10, Snapper's in at 15. Hill Street Blues. No, NYPD Blue. I'm saying, did I say Hill Street Blues? I have NYPD Blue. <laughs> All right, any other interest? We're going to sell it to Snapper. Going once. Yes, Michael, for sure. Do we do? All right, sold to Snapper for 15. Congratulations. All right, anybody want season one and two of Charmed? Season one and two of Charmed. Again, brand new, sealed in the box. Rhonda, Rhonda, not if you have to get up. <laughs> oh, it's not season one and two. I'm sorry. My bad. It's uh, second season and the final season. I want Night Rider DVD seasons. Oh, that might be able to be arranged, Brian. Let me let me let me get a look at what I have here. Let me get a look at what I have here. I know, Rhonda. I wish I did too. I mean, I have more stuff to go through, but I, I I'm gonna just sell these because if I bring the other ones, then you buy the other ones. That's what I'll tell you because. Charm was my ish back in the day. Yeah, I watched Charmed. I'm trying to remember what there was another show that came either before or after Charmed that I got involved into and I can't remember. Any children's books? I've got five grandkids staying with us. Oh my god. Did I oh, those I, kids? I have tons, Attic Fanatic. I have so many kids' books. I haven't brought kids' books in a very long time. <clears throat> You let me know what ages and what sex, and I can put together lots of books for you all day long. Um, a lot of them are from... Um, Let's what, sell it to Jade. What's that, um, the mobile that goes around this, at the schools? I can't remember. The book mobile. The book fair. The book fair. They're like the book fair books that... Um, some of them, some of them have like they're inscribed, but most of them are the book fair books, like from one season to the next. They, they sell them. <clears throat> oh, the good witch, yes. Yep, you can just let me know. I can do 
uh, basically 18 pounds of books. You can decide whether you want chapter books or whether you want like kids books or um, <clears throat> like, you know, just the age group, 18 pounds for $35. Congratulations, Jake Moon. All right, Donna, honey, you're up. Um, so I am probably going to, I'll show one more piece of silver and then I think that's it. And I wanted to tell everybody um, ages three and five girl and boy, and then a girl who is 12, who's into dragons and a 10 year old boy. Who's probably uh, also into dragons. <laughs> tell me how many lots you would like 18 pounds for $35. And I'll write down those ages. Actually, I'll copy it and paste it and tell me how many you want. And I'll have my girls, um, I'm going to send myself an email with that information so I don't have to go looking for it. Tell me how many lots you want and I'll get them out to you. $35. Okay, I just sent myself an email. Was there anybody that was here? Um, yes, you can email me for sure. One lot of 18 pounds, please, and I'll send you an email. Okay, fantastic. Um, <clears throat> and there was something else I was just going to say. Was there anybody here that was earlier that didn't see the towels that I sold that wants to see the towels? I have beautiful towels um, $40 for a set. I can show them to you brand new. Um, I can get them and show them to you if anybody's interested in them. And here I'm putting my email address in the chat. I'm writing auctions for you T. Oh gosh. Yeah. Also in my description. <clears throat> What's ho ho again? What does that mean? What's ho ho, Matt? What's what does that mean? What's ho ho again? What's in ho ho again, Donna? What, Rhonda? I did it. Oh, you did. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and those ho ho bags, nothing. They're empty. I used to, I, I did have goodie bags, but um, the boxes behind you. Yeah, no, they're bags. I was selling last week, I was selling goodie bags, but I don't think I can sell anymore. Um, because the candies changed and I don't want to like show all the, you know, they, I have like different candies. I mean, if you guys still want to order a goodie bag, I mean, it's going to be a variation of seven little bags of candy. And that was $38. Um, okay. So snapper. No worries, honey. That's fine. Hi, Mimi. Well, good luck with that. That's more important. Health and family first. Good night, Mimi. Good night, honey. Thanks for coming in. I hope um, you're well. There was something I was going to mention. The towels. We'll be back tomorrow night to do. Um, I was going to show one more piece of jewelry, but I think I'll wait for one off Wednesday. Okay. Um, to do that. I have a huge. No, it's fine, honey. Don't. It's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow evening. It's it's no no worries no worries. Um, more, more important that I hope everything is well, really I do. Don't take care of yourself. Tomorrow we're having a blizzard anyway. I'm stuck in the house for two days, so no worries. <laughs> yeah, I have a huge. Um, people are dropping like flies to go to bed. Yeah, it's late and it's a weeknight. I we're not. Really I didn't realize we, this last three and a half hours went fast. Oh, thanks, Mimi. Thanks. thanks, honey. Thanks for the super chat. 
Yeah, usually we're not on past 12 during the week. Usually we, you know, cut it like around 11, 11.30. Tonight it just flew by. It went fast. But anyway, so I do have some one-offs for tomorrow. I have some coats. I have a huge pile of clothes sitting here that I was going to try to get to tonight, but I didn't get to them. Um, I'll have some sunglasses tomorrow night. I will have some Star Wars tomorrow night. Um, for sure. For sure, for sure. For sure. sure. Thank you, honey, for the $5 super chat. You guys are so great. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Um... Yeah, tomorrow I've got a full day. I'm going to, I've got um, a couple of orders that I have to have to get out tomorrow. Some of these orders, the ones I sent out a few invoices, the ones that paid, I'll get out again. If you don't get an invoice from, from me tomorrow, <coughs> excuse me, it's because I've got a, a lot running around to do and I got to get to the mini storage tomorrow. So. And we'll be back tomorrow. Now, I'm going to go first thing in the morning and grab a few more things from the storage unit. I mean, I still have, I mean, guys, even when it comes to these sealed DVDs, I, I have plenty of live aid. I have Tom Petty, I have a bunch of music ones. Um, I just found a bunch of girl scout pins. I just found a bunch of jewelry just sitting here. Go that was all the noise you heard me going through that box. <laughs> and that was just one little tiny box. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'll have stuff. Hustlers, you guys, thank you so much. What's up with the super chats tonight? You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Super nice. sticker. That's a super sticker. She super sticker. Down. Thanks. Oh, so sweet. Thank you so much. I don't know if it's Jackie or Sarah. Not that it matters. Do you still have my Christonian pieces? Rhonda, Kathy, thank you. Okay. Rhonda, I do. You, the uh, wait a minute, was it the dolls? The dolls, and then some of the. Did you buy them? I haven't emailed you for them. Okay, attic fanatic, thank you. Um, is that what you're talking about, Rhonda? And then the the creepy dolls that you because I have those dolls like right here. I still haven't um, sent you an invoice for them. Yeah, I'll show that stuff tomorrow night, guys. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> yes, Rondo. I know. I have them. Look, I are, are those are those things? I have them like right here. Are those things inside this box? This is Rhonda's box. I have an invoice to for it. I haven't sent it. It's all those creepy dolls. But those what are those? Um this is all those creepy dolls that you bought with the prom dress doll. Those Cryonian things. No, Susan, I have your I have oh, your good Kathy. I have your rosaries right here. I'm gonna wait until I invoice you. I wasn't gonna send them separate. I was gonna wait until I have a whole bunch of stuff I have to invoice you, Susan, for that you bought. Single items. <laughs> I'm gonna send your in, I'm gonna send your um rosaries with your single items. Rhonda, did you buy some of those? The Carnage of Pieces were in a lot with Star Wars stuff. With the Star Wars stuff. That you bought, Rhonda? Will you call me tomorrow? I had this problem with Woodbine Girl today. The Star Wars stuff got all mixed up. Yeah, that would be great, Rhonda, if you called me. So that way we can um, try to find them. Pieces. There was two of them, right? Yeah, I remember. Yes, Dolores. I will send it to you. Oh my God, so many people looking for invoices still. Yep, I responded to your email. 
Yes, she's done for the night. We're both yeah. done for the night. Yeah. Uh, it was a big long day for me today, Brian. A hundred percent. A lot of a lot of humping today. Oh, Kathy got your shirt today. Auction for you shirt. I saw. Thank That's you. awesome. She'll be wearing it. All right, Jade. Good night. Rhonda, call me. Dolores, I sent you an e an email. If you could respond to it, please. That would be great. Yes, Frank, I have yours too for the earrings and the necklace. I think it was like $25, was it, or something like that? I have yours. You want yours before Christmas? I'll send it out. <laughs> I know it's, but it's a Long Island thing. It's just, it's normal talk for us. Ask Michael. <laughs> What's Michael saying? No, because you know what? The, the package was sent to me and has not even gotten here yet, Brian. Has not even gotten here. It's the way the shipping is working. You'll be lucky to get them for next Christmas at this point. I'm so sorry. Okay, Susan, I'll I'll send you an invoice tomorrow. No pictures. It was thirty five for both. It was That's the, the video that I did before this. What do you mean no pictures? You mean of what I found today? Call me tomorrow. Call me in the morning. <laughs> Frank, it was the Mexican earrings. It was those beautiful. He said it was thirty five for both, not twenty five. All right, it was the Mexican earrings, and then something else. Was it a ten? One of those ten dollar necklaces? I think the buy it nows. With the crystals inside, I'll have to look. I'll send it out tomorrow. If it's thirty, see, that pulls off glasses so well. See, I can't pull them off. Those are really pretty. Those are really, really pretty. Let me put you on, Frank. I says, think I'm gonna list these though. They're Versace. Frank, do you remember? Was it was it the Chris the heart with the crystals in it, or was it the puffy heart? Do you remember which one you bought? Let me know. So I don't have to look. Let me see. Um, it's kind of blurry. I know. Do they feel substantial or do they feel kind of lightweight? I mean, they're thick, if that's what you mean. No, like weight-wise, do they feel like they're a nice solid frame or do they feel like... Well, this frame is loose, but I don't know if that's just because of the way it was thrown. This guy took care of nothing. He threw... I can't tell you how much broken glass from frame stuff that we had to sweep up off the one floor. It was crazy. Like, he just tossed things. Thousands of dollars worth of stuff just, like, tossed. Like, it's like, really? These were these were the box that I was just cleaning out. These were laying in that box, like all over. Just so they probably got knocked up. I don't know. I can I pro can probably take them. Um, I can probably take them to the eyeglass place and, you know. Frank says it's the crystals one with the earrings. Okay, perfect. I'll invoice you first thing in the morning. I'm not, I'm not going to invoice anybody else tonight. I'll get those out for you for tomorrow. <laughs> Besides Dolores, you can come back on the screen. <laughs> oh, sorry. Besides Dolores, is there anybody that needs their orders to go out to be there before Christmas? Oh, I know, Rhonda. It's been like two months. You guys, let me know if you have orders with me and you need them. Kalina, yours will go out tomorrow. Not me. Take your time. Rhonda says, I don't. Okay. All right. All right. If anybody does, please email me. Well, Kalina and Dolores for sure. Yeah. Kalina and Dolores and, my, and Frank. And Frank. Kalina, and Frank. Dolores, and Frank. For sure tomorrow. You guys are on the for sure tomorrow list. I'm going to check with her. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Lynn. Yes, I'm really sending the wife a new coat. Does she want a full length coat, Evil Lenny? And did you say you needed two X? Thank you. 
<laughs> the poor thing. And and donate the coat that you got with the short sleeves. I didn't realize that was a coat. I just thought he was showing off a coat that his wife had. I didn't know it was one you sent him. <laughs> yeah, that was it's really short. Uh, extra large, full length. Okay. Lenny. Yeah, I'll send you a coat, honey. Probably a black one. I think I have a black one. Extra large, full length. No, I didn't even do the coins tonight either. I'll do the coins tomorrow. What coins? I told you in that um, I didn't do the bag either. In the coach bag, I... The more important thing in the coach bag was the bag of coins that I found. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. More than the coach bags. <laughs> there was actually two. Oh, and a Louis Vuitton, but it's rough. Louis Vuitton is rough. But I've sold rough Louis Vuittons for even 100 bucks. Yeah. If it's real, they'll buy it. Yeah. And I sold one worse than this for $100. Let me see. That's not real. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. A hundred percent. Yeah. I, but Louis Vuitton, I do know. If there's one I know, it's Louis Vuitton. This is a hundred percent real. It's a hundred percent real. Absolutely is. It a hundred percent is. It's just older. It's just an older one. With and the I, one handles like that? Yeah. 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 It's just an older one. It's definitely, it's definitely. Kathy just gave you, Kathy just gave you a hundred dollar offer on it. <sighs> KK, okay, okay, really? Yeah, it's real. It, it's a hundred percent real. It, it's rough, though. It, KK, it's rough, honey. It's it's rough. She bought some rough ones from me too. Yeah. Yep. Kath, call me in the morning, honey. Call me tomorrow. Joyce, your birthday was on 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 Saturday. Happy birthday, honey. Happy birthday. Yes. Yeah, see, this this is definitely an older one. See where the number is. Vuitton, I know. I know I know it only because I sold my girlfriend when she left here. She threw her bag in the garbage. And I had to do so much research on it. And I knew she she has an impeccable taste, but it was so mm -hmm. bad. Like she had pen and scratch offs and there was a torn. I think the handle was actually broken. And I took it to um somebody and they explained all to me about how to check Vuitton, how how to check Louis Vuitton. This is definitely a real bag. I know this is a real bag. The coach, on the other hand, eh, maybe, maybe not. I have to look at it better. But this, Kath, I'm telling you, KK, call me tomorrow because I don't know. I, I'd rather just like kind of put this on eBay for a bid and just see where it goes only because the piping... It's really worn, and, and I, I would feel guilty if you guys are buying it for personal use. It's just, it's somebody's got to invest some money with the with repairing it. Yeah, That's there's people that restore them for sure. I know, I know. Real Louis Vuittons do not cut their logos off at any seam. Right. Yep, that's a good way to check. Evil Lenny, the coins are not, they're not like, um, they're not American. They're they are foreign coins. Everything except for the wheat pennies. And I don't think I'm selling the wheat pennies. I might hold on to them. Um, I still have a bag of Donna's somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, T-Bot, I found in the, um, that was the NASCAR unit. Remember? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was the NASCAR unit and... I mean, I think I, I bought that as a mystery box too. I don't remember. Did I buy that as a mystery box? No. I bought it as a mystery jar of coins. I, okay. I literally took the, it was all That's pennies. Right. It was all pennies. It's a mm -hmm. big, huge jar of pennies. And I brought it to, I said, I'm never going to look through these pennies. And, and the guy was a collector. He had a collection of Harley Davidson. He had a collected, the concert t shirts, the collection of the NASCAR. Yep. So, so I'm like, the, you know, these pennies got to be collectible. She looked through some of them, but she didn't find anything. But you still have some? You still have them put away? Yeah. No, I. you know what I did? I, I accidentally threw them in a jar that my husband collects old things. So I have to, like, empty, get to the bottom, you know, the big glass. <laughs> but I will. I will. Um, we're not 
we're not we're not emptying that right now anyway. So but, but people, yeah. people were bidding on them like crazy and, and um T won them. Yeah. T won those coins. I don't remember I be Donna's best customer before I was her auctioneer. <laughs> she was my best customer. Who was my best customer? <clears throat> um do you remember what you paid for those coins? I don't. It was a it was a pretty penny. You paid a pretty penny for the pennies. Probably. I think Probably. you paid like 60 bucks or something for those. I pennies. might have. I might have. For a jar of pennies. I'm and looking for that 1934, you know, like everybody else. <laughs> right? And I and I would never have just brought a jar of random pennies, but for the simple fact that the guy was a collector, I just figured they got to be worth something, but I was so inundated with inventory at that time. I'm like, I am never going to go through these pennies. Frank says it's a 1943. No, what did I say? 34, 43. Yeah. 43. 43 is the, is the magic year, the penny that everybody's looking for. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not as uh, valuable as everybody thinks though. I mean, why did they only make a few pennies that year or something? It's a copper penny. I think it's a, it's like a weak copper penny. It's not. Yeah, it's copper. Right. Yeah. 1909. You know, I'm mad too. I think I had a 1909. Oh, probably when I was younger, my dad had given me a bunch of books and some coins and stuff to go through and put together. And he had jars of stuff and I used to do that and collect them and put them in the little books and I, 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 I sold them when I bought my first house. <laughs> my father and your father ha would have a lot in common. My father has, you know, the, you know, those blue books that open up into like three sections. That's what with, I'm talking about. Yeah. With all the pennies. Yeah, my, yeah. Father, my father has hundreds of those. Mm -hmm. That was like really, really popular to do back in the seventies. My dad would come home at night and he'd, he'd take all the change out of his pockets and he'd sit at the dining room table and all us kids would be sitting there watching and he'd be, you know, pushing the pennies into those, into those holes. So yeah, many. That's what I did. I, I, I did that for a long time. You still sell those books? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I haven't collected coins in years, really. I haven't done anything with the books probably since I sold them. And that was when I was 19, 20, whatever I was. What would be a cool thing to get Massimo into? I think that he would really enjoy doing that. You know, starting those yeah. and doing those pennies, starting those collections. Yeah. Would, were they worth anything when you cashed them in? Who'd you cash them into? Like the local coin guy. Oh, yeah. He bought them. Do they even? I don't even remember. All I know is within a few months I bought a house. That was my first house. So I, I did whatever I had to do to buy it. I don't even know. Like, do they even have coin shops around anymore? I don't know. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Here they don't. There's pawn. Oh, here they do. There's like one on every corner. Is there a lot of pawn shops where you it's are? It's the same thing. It says we buy coin and silver and you know, it's the same kind of concept. Yeah, but when I was growing up, we had uh, we had a coin shop downtown, and he he was a real coin shop, you know, like people would go in there and, and trade and buy coins, and he also had penny candy, literally penny candy. He would buy, right. and go in there and, and pick a piece of a candy for a penny. It oh, a penny wow. it was a penny candy store. It was awesome. You'd get a little brown little brown paper bag. You know, and give them whatever mm -hmm. the pennies or ten cents, and you got to pick. Oh ten, yeah, ten little pieces of candy. It was so awesome. Oh yeah, remember the round little jars with the silver tops? Like, I think about like how far we've come, like sanitary wise, too. Now all the candy you basically buy in the candy store is all packaged and sealed and whatever. We used to just reach our hand and pull the gumballs out and. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there was no scoop or anything to take the candy. To all I the mean, it might have been a scoop, but I don't even think half of us as kids scooped it out. We just grabbed it with our hands. Yeah. All the neighborhood kids, you know, we were in school all day. We stopped by the penny candy store and mm -hmm. with our dirty hands, reaching into the jars, getting the candy, yep. putting them in our bags, handling the money. 
Now we walk around with masks and people with gloves. gloves. <laughs> oh my God. We were so unsanitary back then. Now we're like so sanitary. I've gotten even to the point where I'm like, gosh, you know, go to the drive up ATM machine. And I'm like, I'm using just like my finger, you know, I don't want to touch anything. And then you're touching the money and the money's like dirty and put it in a wallet and rubbing. Like, I'm and so paranoid everything. now, even with the money, like forget the storage unit. I must've been washing my hands 400 times today, but like, I don't even want to pay cash anymore. A lot of places. Even if I have it because I don't want to take the change. I don't want to touch the bills. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Look at look at the school. The the lady wouldn't even take money from me to to go into the game. They're they're money free. The whole entire school system now. Everything has to be done through uh, credit cards or debit cards. They don't do not accept money for anything. Not for yeah. lunches. Not for anything. You can't use cash anywhere in the district. God, it's crazy. What. But it's night, Michael. It's crazy what it's turned into. Good night, Michael. Thanks for coming in, sweetheart. Oh my god, it's so late. It's quarter one in the morning. I don't want to go because I have to go to bed. Jesus, how did that happen tonight? I don't know. So crazy. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for for everyone. We'll let you know tomorrow. Probably. Probably between eight and nine o'clock. We'll be on T's channel tomorrow night. Um, we'll go on and and uh, we'll do one off Wednesday on T's channel. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thanks for coming in. We so appreciate you guys being here. Mwah.